The words fell. Qi Zhandao said quietly, It's not that I won't take you up, but, you can't go up. Hearing this, Su Han showed surprise. It's really strange that he doesn't even know what to protect, and is willing to spend his whole life. Then Holy Master, aren't you even curious? Or, don't you even want to know what you are guarding? After finishing speaking, Dead Dao smiled wryly and said, I've thought about it before. But, I'd better not know, because, sometimes the less you know, the better. This is a secret that my family has guarded for hundreds of generations. I am just fulfilling the mission I should complete. In fact, for Pei Shadao, it doesn't matter what he guards. What matters is his mission and loyalty to the family. Hearing this, Su Han's gaze was still on the highest point, and he could feel an inexplicable sense of calling coming from the top of the reef. For some reason, Su Han had a very strong urge to go up and find out. I have a way to go up. At this time, Su Han thought for a while, and finally said it out. The words fell. Qi Zhandao looked sideways and looked at Su Han in surprise. Although he had not been in contact with Su Han for a long time, he knew that Su Han was not a big talker. Then he asked, How do you get there? Su Han didn't hide anything, and said directly, My technique is a little special, and it can jump space for a short time. However, Su Han is still very cautious, it is impossible to tell the matter that he has mastered the rules of space, because the rules of space touch the origin of the world, even though he knows that Qi Zhidao has no desires and desires, but, you also have to guard against it. In fact, it is not to defend him, but also to indirectly protect him. Because if he really became greedy and shot at Su Han, then Su Han would definitely kill him without hesitation. This is also Su Han's style of doing things, keeping a hand all the time. But, the space here is very strange, even I can't cross the space. You better not take the risk. Qi Xingdao was worried that Su Han would mess up, so he tried to persuade him. I can try it. Su Han said. Hearing this, Jun Shidao was silent for a while, and then said, Yes. However, if it doesn't work, don't force it. After getting the reply from Jun Shidao, Su Han activated his aura and looked up at the top. Although the space here is firmer and more advanced than the outside world, Su Han still can't do the advanced operation of boundary within the boundary, but it is still possible to transfer such a small distance. Of. Next second. The space around him began to distort. Seeing this scene, Pei Shidao's pupils trembled and his face was full of shock. He carefully looked at Su Han's cultivation level. That's right, it's indeed in the void realm, but why is the breath so strong? I don't know if it was his illusion, it even brought him an inexplicable sense of oppression. However, he absolutely didn't dare to think that Su Han's cultivation was far superior to his, and blamed it on the strangeness of his skills. Every monk has his own secret. Qi Xingdao also understood this, so he just stood there quietly watching, without asking any further questions. Next second. As the space around Su Han continued to collapse, he disappeared in place. Suddenly, Pei Shidao looked up towards the top of the reef mountain, and found that Su Han had already appeared on it. He opened his mouth slightly, and he was so shocked that he couldn't add more. He didn't expect Su Han to be successful, let alone, he succeeded so easily. This moment. Su Han lowered his head, looked down at Shou Shi Dao standing on the wooden boat, and asked, Holy Master, do you want to come up? I can send you up too. In fact, although Su Han is a character who can clearly distinguish between love and hate, and must retaliate, he is not a villain who crosses rivers and demolishes bridges. Otherwise, he can completely kill Pei Xingdao, or ignore Jun Xingdao and explore the secrets by himself. Qi Zidao hesitated for a while, feeling very tangled in his heart. At this time, in his mind, he recalled a sentence that the great ancestor once said to him, telling him that he only needs to guard this place silently, and don't give birth to the heart of inquiring. Because. Dot the cause and effect involved are very large. The Qi clan only needs to be guarded, and nothing else is left. After thinking for a while, he still sighed and said to Su Han, I won't come up. You must be careful, I will wait for you here. Heard the words. Su Han didn't continue to ask more questions. Because it might be someone's taboo, he turned around immediately. What was in front of him was a dark grey mist, and with Su Han's eyesight, he couldn't see clearly what was in front of him. At this time, he didn't run the spiritual energy, but directly used the space rules to shake the grey fog away. Because this space is very weird, you can't use aura rashly. After the grey fog was shaken away, Su Han could clearly see things ten meters away from Fang. After walking up, I realized how big this reef mountain is. Su Han walked forward slowly, and his attention was also concentrated to the extreme, because he could clearly feel that the weird feeling of coldness, and, calling, was right in front of him, and he was approaching step by step. 
Clatter suddenly there was a sound. Su Han stepped on something, looked down, and saw black iron chains as thick as arms, densely covered on the ground. He could feel that there was a majestic and strange ability in this pitch black iron chain. These iron chains all extend to the front. Su Han walked step by step along the stretch of these iron chains. Slowly, the cold feeling became more and more obvious, and the cold hairs on his body stood up uncontrollably, which was an early warning of the body's instinct. Suddenly, Su Han stopped in his tracks, he is very sure that if he continues to move forward, he may encounter situations beyond his control. At this time, Su Han was in a tangle. With his personality, he must seek stability, because with this system he has, he doesn't have to worry about training at all, and there is no need to take this risk. But, the sense of urgency in his heart was very strong. If he doesn't move forward, get here and give up, he might regret it later. After hesitating for a while, Su Han still decided to move forward. Cultivation of immortals is like this. If you are afraid of your hands and feet, you will be afraid in your mind. Even if you have a system, you will not go too far. Just like that, Su Han approached step by step for an unknown how long. His gaze followed the direction in which the iron chain extended, and saw the end point. When seeing the picture in front of him, Su Han's body also froze, and his breathing became short of breath. Where the eyes are locked. It was a bronze-colored black coffin, and the surface of the coffin was imprisoned by countless dark iron chains. The moment Su Han's eyes fell on the copper coffin. The blood in the whole body seemed to be frozen at this moment, and the feeling of coldness reached the extreme at this moment. It's like a body whose soul has been withdrawn and fallen into a cold and deep abyss. This feeling is very real, so real that Su Han's body instinctively stiffens. This strange state lasted for more than ten breaths. In the end, Su Han ran Tai Wang Ju, natural Dao Jing, and then his pupils slowly recovered focus, and his thoughts returned to reality. It's unimaginable that Su Han is already in the immortal ascension boundary, and he has laid such a solid foundation of physical fitness, and his cultivation skills are also top notch. Even so, when he saw this ancient bronze coffin, he felt short lived. It's a good thing he didn't let Zhang Dao follow him up just now, otherwise, with his cultivation base of Shen Yuan realm, after seeing this strange ancient bronze coffin, his life might be in danger. However, this also reflects the system's evaluation of his fate. He has no desires, no greed, and a very peaceful mind, so he can go to the end of the day safely. But if he followed him up with a little curiosity and desire just now, then, the consequences would be unimaginable. Because, in the current situation, Su Han can only protect himself and has no time to take care of others. Su Han looked up and down the ancient coffin. The coffin is not big, and the material and appearance are like bronze, with black in the light gold, giving people a sense of time and age at first glance. Next second. Su Han exuded divine consciousness, and slowly approached the bronze-colored coffin, ready to find out what was inside the coffin. However, when his consciousness just touched the coffin, it was completely blocked from the outside. No matter how hard Su Han attacked, it was like a punch on the cotton, which was completely dispelled. In this way, Su Han tried more than a dozen times in a row, all of which ended in failure. Moreover, Su Han could feel that there was a strange attraction in the coffin. If he intensified the force of the attack, his consciousness would probably be swallowed by the coffin. In order to seek stability, Yin Han gave up the method of using divine sense to inquire. At this moment, Su Han thought of using system survey. Immediately, use sky eye next second. The textual information about this copper coffin appeared in Su Han's mind word by word. Name. Copper coffin of the third world source, chaotic immortal era. Origin. Once drifted in the long river of time, tossed and turned, seeking to break the cause and effect. After reading it, Su Han was a little confused. Time flow. This word was the second time Su encountered it. When I invested in Li Yi last time, I also learned about the long river of time through the leaf of time. Later, Su Han looked through a large number of ancient books, but found no information about it. The Tianhe in Legendary has traces to follow. But this long river of time is completely illusory, and it is not even known whether it exists or not. Therefore, this thing is too far away from Su Han. The copper coffin in front of me has been tossed and turned in the long river of time, looking for something. It can be seen from this that the origin of this copper coffin is too great, and the cause and effect involved are too great. Because the aura that just came out almost made Su Han's heart and soul fall. Su Han knew that this was not something he could touch. Immediately, he put away his consciousness and stopped investigating. Su Han's eyes still fell on the coffin. He really wanted to know, what is in this coffin? However, with Su Han's strength, it is really impossible to open this coffin. 
he turned and was about to leave immediately, he thought of something again, because he always felt that this coffin would not stay here, because according to the introduction of the system, it was still moving around and looking for it. Therefore, even if his strength reaches a certain level, he may not be found when he comes back here. But. I don't know if it's because of a hunch in my heart that he has to do something. He tore off one of his hairs, and with a big wave of his hand, this one of his hairs was wrapped around a corner of the coffin. The reason for this is that Kun can find the location of Wenku's coffin with his own hair in the future. After doing all this, Su Han walked to the edge of the cliff, his eyes fell on the grey and black water. At this time, a question also appeared in Su Han's heart. According to the system, this copper coffin has been tossed and turned in the long river of time. So, is it here? Is this water the water of the river of time? But, he didn't feel any breath of time from the grey blue water. So, because the probability may not be. So, what is this sea area? At this moment, Su Han seemed to understand what Pei Shadao said. It seems. Dot the less you know, the less karma you have to contaminate, and the less danger you have. Only after Su Han owned the system, everything in the world, as long as it is in front of Su Han, there is almost no concealment at all. Therefore, Su Han knows more and more things, and the cause and effect of contamination is getting bigger and bigger. However, even though he was a bit concerned, it was not enough to make Su Han fearful. Because in Su Han's view, the more you know, the more dangerous you are, because you don't know enough. But if they know everything, and Su Han knows all the causal layout, then he can truly control it, jump out of the chess game, and find his own way to break the way. Think here. Su Han had no other worries in mind. The eye of the sky was open directly, surveying this grey blue sea area. Next second. Textual information about this small grey blue sea appeared in his mind. Name. Long River of Time, Tributary, Current Status, Pollution. Origin. The era of chaotic immortals was polluted by the laws of this court, and later the body of time Chongha was exiled, lost the power of time, but still has the terrifying power of devouring. After reading it, Su Dian was extremely surprised. Really. Similar to what Su Han expected, this place can be regarded as a long river of time, but it is just a corner of a long river of time that has been abandoned. It can also be understood that the long river of time has only one main river, and there are countless first tributary rivers. The sea area in front of Su Han is just one of the countless tributaries of the river of time, and it has been abandoned by the river of time, in the real sense, it is no longer the river of time, but an extremely dangerous place forbidden area. After learning about it, Su Han felt a wave of fear in his heart. Fortunately, I didn't have the urge to try it just now, otherwise, I might be swallowed by this sea area. After viewing, although Su Han didn't gain anything substantial, at least he got some information. In the next second, he activated the law of space, twisted and collapsed the space and returned to the boat. After seeing Su Han came back, Qi Zhandao didn't ask anything, but controlled the boat and rushed towards the way back. At this time, Su Han noticed his abnormality and asked, Holy Master, you seem to be in a hurry? Heard the words. While rowing the oars, Pei Shadao explained to Su Han, We have been here for three days. You can't stay here for too long, or it will be very dangerous. After saying that, Su Han was also a little surprised. He just went up to check, but almost three days have passed. He seemed to have lost the concept of time. He hurried past a few hours at most. Unexpectedly, a full three days had passed. It seemed. The time in the space where the ancient coffin was located was also disordered. Soon. The boat returned to the other side. After getting ashore, Dead Dao heaved a sigh of relief. At this moment, he turned around, with a serious expression, and said to Su Han. Su Han, since this is the place, you have been here too. You have seen what is above. So, this wooden boat, I gave it to you. The words fell. Su Han was a little surprised, and then asked, Holy Master, you mean that you were going to hand over this place to me for protection? Heard the words. Qi Xingdao did not answer directly, but asked another question. Do you know why the Taiyi Holy Land was built at an altitude of 10,000 meters? Immediately, Su Han shook his head. The location of Taiyi Saint is 10 meters high, and the resources spent are huge. Because. To maintain these floating peaks and islands, formations are needed, and formations need to consume a lot of resources, and to maintain the entire Taiyi Holy Land. The spiritual stone resources consumed every day are an astronomical figure. All in all, there are many cons. In the mainland, there are many holy land sects that are stronger than the Taiyi Holy Land, and they are all built only by attaching to the land. At first, Su Han thought it was just for the sake of style, to highlight a sense of nobility and superiority, to achieve a kind of above. But now, 
Hearing Pei Shadao asking himself like this, it seems that there is something else hidden? The construction of the entire Taiyi Holy Land is based on the entrance of this place. In other words, I built this Taiyi Holy Land just to better protect this place. Because. You can also feel the Tao, the space here is a different and independent space. Therefore, the entrance to this space will also change constantly. You have been coming to the Taiyi Holy Land for several years, I wonder if you have been to find out where the Taiyi Holy Land was built 10,000 years ago. Hearing what Pei Shadao said, Su Han also suddenly remembered something. Some time ago, he did hear from an old elder in the door. He is the elder of the Taiyi Holy Land. 10,000 years ago, when the Taiyi Holy Land was still in the Luyang Mountains, he was already the elder of the Taiyi Holy Land. That is to say, the Taiyi Holy Land was not built at this 10,000 meter altitude 10,000 years ago. Rather, it is in a place called Luyang Mountains in the Dagon Empire. Luyang Mountains, Su Han said. Hearing this, Jun Shidao nodded and said, the entrance to this space will change once in a long period of time. Last time, it appeared in the Luyang Mountains, and later, it appeared here. The address of Taiyi Holy Land also moves with the change of this entrance. The time is as long as 10,000 years, and as short as thousands of years, the time interval is uncertain. So, I don't know where it will appear next time. With that said, Pei Shidao sighed and continued. I have no heirs, no heirs, and the Jun clan has been guarding for more than 200 generations, which is considered to be loyal and responsible. I gave you this wooden boat, not for you to keep guarding it. It's just that I think you can go farther and farther in the future. If you see the returned adult in the future, please tell her that our in family has not forgotten our mission. In return, that lord will give the Jun clan good fortune, and you replace the in clan and receive that good fortune. Qi Xingdao is very tired. He knew that it was already difficult to keep guarding. Because the in clan has guarded him for a generation, and he is the only one left. He was afraid. The wooden boat would fall into other people's hands. Therefore, he made a huge gamble, betting all the hopes and fate of the Qi clan on the younger generation in front of him. Because he always feels that Su Han will go very far in the future, on the avenue of cultivating immortals, he will walk very high. Hearing Pei Shidao's words, Su Han was a little surprised. He is equivalent to giving himself the things that his family has guarded for countless years, without asking for anything in return. The only reward he needs is to let that adult in his mouth know that their family has not forgotten the mission of guardianship. The sir, he said should be the person who has been guarded by the Kerry clan until now, right? Actually, Su Han's first reaction was that the daughter-in-law refused. Because he doesn't need any chance or fortune. But, he recalled the inexplicable sense of calling he felt in that ancient coffin, and he felt that if he refused, he would definitely regret it and miss something. Even if he didn't have the wooden boat in Pei Shidao's hand, he would not be able to cross this sea area and reach the ancient coffin in the sky. Even if he sets foot on a very high level of cultivation in the future, it may be very difficult. Because the background of this sea area is too great, he can't guarantee how high his cultivation level is to pass through this grey-blue sea area. Su Han was silent for a long while. Then nodded, took the small wooden boat, and replied, Then let me try. Heard the words. Qi Zhandao was slightly astonished, a gleam of light flashed in his eyes, and then he bowed heavily to Su Han. Thank you. The words fell. Su Han helped him up, and said with a smile, Holy Master is too polite, no matter how you look at it, it seems that I took advantage of your family, and I should be the one to say thank you. Qi Zidao also smiled, relieved. In fact, he himself didn't know whether his decision was correct or not. Maybe the person who made this decision will become a family of sinners. Or maybe Su Han will redeem their family and fulfill their final long cherished wish. It's all uncertain. Otherwise, it cannot be said to be a gamble. However, Jundao believes in his own vision. Because of his gambling luck, he has always been very good. At this time, Su Han raised his head when his eyes fell on the top of Jun Shidao's head. He discovered that his luck has changed when Su Han took over the wooden boat that Pei Shidao gave him. The air luck above Qi Zhandao's head gradually turned into purple, thick purple, and then there was a tendency to transform towards the talent of Dharma. At this time, Su Han thought about it. The text information about him reappeared in Su Han's mind. Name. Pei Xing Dao, Qi Luck. Concentrated purple, potential for Dharma physique talent. Cultivation level. Kagaki 8th level, age, 26,870 years old. Life evaluation. The 267th generation descendant of the Sho clan, guarding it from generation to generation. Recent encounters. None, after reading it, he found that except for the change of luck, nothing else had changed. That is to say, 
thus inadvertently changing the luck level of the doomed Dao? And this change is after he gave the inheritance wooden boat to Su Han. That is to say, although Qi Xing Dao directly gave Su Han the chance of good luck accumulated by his family for so long, it seems that Xu Xing Dao suffered a big loss, but the system gave him a good luck rating, which was directly overstated several levels. From this point, it can be seen that Pei Shi Dao, who has no desires and no desires, made a correct choice. At this time, Su Han became even more curious about the things in the copper coffin of the third generation. What kind of supreme existence is it? It is only a little bit of cause and effect that can directly create a monk with a natural talent. But, if you think about it, it's normal. The Qi family has guarded for so long for generations, and as the last descendant of Junxiadao, he should be rewarded and benefited. It is foreseeable that from then on, the path of practicing Junde Dao will become extremely magnanimous. This is what everyone deserves. In fact, the biggest beneficiary is Su Han. Because from now on, all the opportunities and secrets here belong to Su Han alone. Seeing Su Han looking at him with a surprised expression on his face, Jun asked aloud, What's wrong? The words fell, bringing Su Han's thoughts back to reality. He waved his hand and said with a smile, It's all right. Then let's go out first. That's all. The two went out of Shimon and returned to Taiyi Holy Land. After Qi Xingdao handed over the inheritance, his attitude towards Su Han was the same as that of his disciples and relatives. Looking at Su Han's eyes, they are all very appreciative. He was thinking about how to pave the way for Su Han. Su Han, what are your future plans? Qi Zidao asked straight to the point. Just practice in Taiyi Holy Land with peace of mind. Su Han replied with a smile. Or, you should leave Taiyi Holy Land. Qi Xingdao thought of something and said to Su Han. Hearing this, Su Yu looked puzzled. Now that Dagon and Dayu are fighting, the power behind Dayu is called the Moon God Palace. When the word Moon God Temple was mentioned, Pei Shidao's voice obviously lowered a bit, with a look of fear on his face. You have never left the Dagon Empire, so you may not know what level of Shimei the Moon God Temple belongs to. Give me a simple example. Our place is just an unnamed small domain, and the outside world calls our place a barbarian small domain. In the entire Lingyuan continent, there are countless barbarian small domains. The temple of the moon god comes from the Qing Yu. The size and prosperity of the Qing Yu territory is not comparable to that of our small barbarian domain, but it is on the same level. The gap is like Yinghuo and Wu Yu, and the moon god temple is the holy land of the giant sect in Qing Yu. Our place, in the eyes of the moon god temple, is nothing more than a place for trials and training. After listening, Su Han also roughly understood the meaning of Seidao. That is to say, the barbarism that I rebelled against. The domain is just a small dungeon map used to farm in the eyes of the moon god temple. I don't know what the purpose of the temple of the moon god is to attack the empire. But I guess, it is likely to come here. Saying that, Pei Shidao's eyes once again fell on the stone gate of the ancestral land in front of him. The Qi clan used to be a big clan in ancient times, it has been guarding since the first generation, my great ancestor. It has been guarded until now, and I don't know how many years have passed. There is no wall that does not leak in the world. Later, a traitor appeared in the Qi clan, and the secret was leaked. The Jun clan almost fell. Later, the Yin family kept their names incognito, and each generation of descendants carried the sacred boat to find the entrance, and then used the entrance as a base to establish a sect and guard it. During these years of guarding, our Qi clan has traveled to countless places in the mainland. Actually, our Taiyi Holy Land is not a branch of the Holy Kingdom, but I changed the name of the Holy Land to Taiyi and unconditionally attached to the Jinyi Holy Kingdom. The purpose is to deceive people. With the strength and status of the Moon God Temple, he appeared in our barbarian small area and helped Dayu to destroy Dagon. It must be the way of war to force out where the entrance is. Having said that, and Xing Dao sighed faintly. Using the means of the Moon God Temple, it is only a matter of time before we set our sights on our holy land. So, you'd better leave as soon as possible. You leave with the holy ship, even if they find the entrance here, they will not be able to cross the sea. Because the real entrance is not this, but the holy ship in your hand. Heard the words. Su Han also thought of something. He also discovered the abnormality, because he went to inquire about the news on purpose. In the small barbarian region he is in, in just a few hundred years, many empires, such as the Baiyao Empire, the Shashuang Empire, etc., have all been swallowed up by Dayu in the past few hundred years. It seems that the Moon Temple, mentioned at the entrance of Peiju Dao was pushed after back, and the purpose was to find the entrance, guarded by Peijong Dao. 
you cross the endless sea and go to a large domain called Tianqin Domen. The Tianqin Domen is very large. In terms of background, none of the ten Xingyu domains can match it, so, no matter how long the tentacles of the Moon God Temple are, they will not be able to find you in the vast Tianqin city. With your talent, if you go to Tianqin Domain, you will feel like a fish in water, and you will quickly gain a foothold. I won't misunderstand the person, you will have a chance to touch the supreme position in the future. As long as you achieve the supreme position, you will be able to gain a firm foothold in Tianqin. Seidao has a very high evaluation of Su Han and has high hopes for him. Su Han understood that the supreme position he mentioned should be the supreme trilemma. You need to leave as soon as possible, because the news I inquired is that. Dot the Temple of the Moon God has sent a Moon God envoy. The Temple of the Moon God has also put in a lot of effort, and it is really insane to send an envoy of the Moon God to a barbarian small area. With that said, Pei Shadao snorted coldly. At this time, Su Han asked, What is a Moon God envoy? Emissary of the Moon God. The full name should be December Angel, there are twelve people in total. The status of a god envoy is equivalent to that of an elder in the sect, but its status is higher than that of an elder, and it belongs to the mainstay of the moon god hall. Only those who have excellent comprehensive abilities such as strength, talent, etc., can become the guardian of the moon god temple. The moon god envoy who is here now, I heard that he is a newly promoted moon god envoy. He is very young, probably only 23,000 years old. However, the good news is that because this moon god envoy is a newcomer, most of them rely on talent so their strength is at the bottom of the twelve moon god envoys. But, even so, her strength is above the altar. When talking about the moon god envoy, Pei Shadao's face clearly showed fear. When he heard the news, he was also shocked for a long time. On the two or three thousand year old Shenyuan, this is such a terrifying cultivation talent, no wonder he can become the moon god envoy of the moon god temple at a young age. You live in the Dachin Empire, so you may not know what kind of realm is above Shenyuan. Because in the history of the Dachin Empire, there hasn't been any strong man in the Shenyuan realm, let alone above the Shenyuan realm. Above the Kamaki, the picture is fugue, walking in the world, overlooking the world, and stepping into the realm of the world, can we truly be called the strong ones in the mainland? Qi Zidao said to Su Han word by word. Su Han pretended to be surprised, he couldn't just say a word, I've stepped into the realm of astonishment? This shouldn't scare Jun Zundao to death. The immortal ascension boundary who is two or three thousand years old is already a peerless genius in his mouth, so wouldn't he be a monster, who is only over a hundred years old? Monster, the immortal ascension boundary, now in our small barbarian territory, is already an invincible existence. This old man has practiced Taoism for thousands of years, but he still can't touch the threshold of the immortal ascension boundary. It is already hopeless to break through the immortal ascension realm in this life. The horror of the immortal ascension boundary is unimaginable in your current realm. Although your current cultivation is only in the illusory realm, but you are so young and extremely talented, I believe that one day you will also be able to step into the immortal ascension realm. Backquote. The cultivation base of Qi Xing Dao can be said to be the number one person in this barbarian small area. Originally, the war between Dagon and Deyu could not affect him in the slightest. But the appearance of the huge monster in the Moon God Temple made him feel an inexplicable sense of crisis. That's why he wanted Su Han to leave early, cross the endless sea, and go to Tianqin Domain. I will leave, but not now. Su Han understands Qi Zedeo's good intentions. But. Dot the current situation does not pose any threat to Su Han. Although the opponent is an immortal ascension boundary, he is also an immortal ascension boundary, and with Su Han's combat power, it is still easy to be invincible within the immortal ascension boundary. Mainly, it's really not as good as walking away like a bereaved dog. He will leave here in the future, but not now, nor is he forced to leave, but Su Han wants to leave on his own initiative, wants to travel around, and follow his heart. Heard the words. Qi Zhandao wanted to continue persuading, but then the words reached his throat, and he swallowed them back. Because I gave the sacred ship to Su Han, I also said that he didn't need to guard the entrance, didn't need to guard anything for the Yi family, and wouldn't delay his own life development. If at this moment, I let Su Han take the sacred ship away from my hometown and be forced to flee, what is the difference from imposing shackles on the other party? Seidao just wants Su Han to develop better and have his own life arrangements. There was no further persuasion. Because, except him, no one in the world knows that after entering the entrance, one needs to take a holy ship to reach the other shore. The moon god temple didn't even know that there was such a thing as a holy ship. So, as long as she doesn't say anything, Su Han is absolutely safe. 
On the contrary, it would be even more dangerous for Su Han to rush across the endless sea at this moment, in case the Temple of the Moon was noticed. Qi Zidao actually has an idea in his heart. If that day really comes, he will sacrifice himself to save Su Han and let him leave safely. Because as long as he, the last Pei family heir, died or was taken away, then the Moon God Temple would not focus on other people. It can also allow Su Han to leave the small domain safely with the holy ship, cross the endless sea, and go to hibernate. During this period of time, don't leave the holy land. Stay here, I can guarantee your safety, Sadao said to Su Han. If you can't leave now, then the safest place for the entire Dagon Empire, and even the entire barbarian small region, is by your side. One more thing, you must remember. If the Moon God Temple really came here, then. Dot you must not show any signs that you know me and have a close relationship with me. The rest, just let me handle it. After Qi Xingdao finished speaking, Han nodded thoughtfully. For the next period of time, Qi Xingdao never came to see Su Han to drink tea and play chess, and deliberately kept a distance from Su Han. Of course Su Han knew that he was going to protect himself. Because I have the only key, close to the ancient coffin, in my body. However, Su Han certainly wasn't idle during this time. Instead go ahead and start investing. Before I knew it, half of the elders had been invested and helped by Su Han. Because of this, Su Han has stepped into the fourth level of Shen Yu, because after reaching the level of Shen Yu, the quality of investment needs to be high. Investing in those white luck, yellow luck, or even light blue luck has only a drop in the bucket for Su Han. Investing in 101,000 white luck is nothing compared to one light blue luck. Fortunately, the quality of Taiyi Holy Land is high, at least the lowest is thick yellow luck and light blue luck. Su Han also discovered a phenomenon. In the Taiyi Holy Land, the one or two elders with strong yellow luck are basically very old men with yellow spots all over their cheeks. Because the end point of the strong yellow luck, it may be the case. The upper limit of the thick yellow luck is still low. To be able to walk to the position of the elder of the Taiyi Holy Land with strong yellow luck is already one in a million people who has worked hard to the extreme. The strong yellow luck can reach the position of the elder of the Taiyi Holy Land through hard work, so where will those gold, purple, and even Dharma talented people who Su Han invested in reach the end in the future? In fact, thinking about it, I still have some expectations. This day. On the southern border of the Dagon Empire, on a majestic and towering snow capped mountain. A woman in a fairy white gown as white as the moon stands on the top of a snow mountain, and the moment the surrounding wind and snow fall on her body, it is like falling into an endless abyss, and she does not know it melts, still got swallowed up. Looking carefully, there is a round of Haoyue pattern on the back of the fairy white robe, exuding a faint fairy library. The fairy robed woman just stood there, as if she had merged with the wind and snow between heaven and earth. At this time, as the wind and snow oscillated for a moment, behind the fairy robed woman, there slowly appeared a woman in a green black dress, with short white hair falling on her neck, with a tall and graceful figure, holding a long sword. After the woman in the blue and black dress appeared, she cupped her fists and said respectfully to the fairy robed woman in front of her, Master Nine God's envoy, have you launched a general attack? In this barbaric small area, only the Dachin Empire is left. If you still haven't found it, should we go back or keep looking? Following the words of the woman in the long skirt, she fell. The fairy robed woman stared forward, looking into the distance through the gap of the falling snow, not knowing what she was thinking. Finally, she turned around slowly and looked at the woman in the green black dress in front of her. The wind and snow had weakened a lot, and she could see her face clearly. Bright eyes and white teeth, neck like snow, a pair of calm eyes without any waves seems like a quiet lake, and cheeks are like carvings made by heaven, once the eyes fall, it is difficult to move away. If there is no place here, we will go back. The fairy robed woman said faintly, it's just an illusory legendary, it's time to come out and experience it. She became the ninth moon god envoy of the moon god temple in only 290 years of a hundred years. Due to lack of strength and inexperienced qualifications, she was able to become the new moon god envoy only by virtue of her cultivation talent. In order to gain a firm foothold in the moon god temple, she took over the illusory mission of the moon god temple and came to this remote and barren wild small area to search for. This task was personally issued by the hall master of the moon god hall, and only a few elders and their moon god knew about it. The content of this mission is to find an entrance guarded by the Sai family. Even the hall master doesn't know what the entrance is and what's inside. I just know that there used to be a very powerful ancient clan in the mainland, the Jun clan, which has been guarding it for generations, and because of this, it gradually fell into decline, as if it disappeared in the long river of history. No one knows if there are any members of the Yin family still alive, let alone where the entrance is. However, 
The master of the moon god temple got the news from nowhere, saying that traces of the Jun family were found in this wild small area. That's why she took the initiative to invite Ying, and came to this wild small area, and there were already hundreds of people when she came. Except for the current Dachin Empire, the other empires in this wild small area have basically been searched. The way of finding is also very direct. It is to help the Daeyu Empire, launch a war, and force out the hidden strongmen in each empire through war, so that they can find the people of the Trashbed family faster and more efficiently. At present, only the last Dagon Empire remains. The Dagon Empire is also the second most powerful empire in this small barbarian region. Moreover, there are nearly 10,000 troops. The Dagon Empire has produced several supreme powerhouses in the Shattered Realm, and the Dagon Empire has firmly secured its position as the first empire. However, in the eyes of the Moon God Palace, and in the eyes of the fairy robed woman, the Dagon Empire is still as small as an ant. Notify Dayu, let them launch a general attack directly. The woman in the fairy robe said to the woman in the green and black dress in front of her. After the words fell, the woman in the green black dress disappeared in place. This moment. The border where Dagon and Dayu fought. Main battlefield. The armies of the two sides faced each other across a river. Dayu's army camp has already occupied dozens of border cities, and their monk army is also stationed in the occupied cities, ready to launch at any time. Among them, Dayu's main force is basically in Yongcheng. Inside Xiangyang City, Dayu is still a relatively sensible empire. After occupying the city, they only shoveled the forces of the royal family, such as the city lord's mansion, and did not attack the monks and common people in the city. On the contrary, after occupying the city, resources were distributed to the monks and common people in the city. Because. For the Dayu Empire, they were just expanding their territory, not killing. Still, thanks to the emperor of the mansion, the emperor of Dayu was a female emperor. She is the first female emperor in the history of Dayu. It is said that the strength of the Empress Cultivator is the highest in the entire Dayu Empire. With absolutely powerful strength and means, she broke the history of Dayu's conformity and successfully ascended the throne. Legendary. That Empress, with a cold nature and brutal methods, never accepted a male concubine, and rejected people thousands of miles away. But. From the time she gave orders to treat the prisoners of the enemy country, it can be seen that. This Empress is not as cruel as the rumors say. At least she understands the truth that war does not hurt the common people. That night. Xiangyang City, the day because of the palace army. A woman wearing a neon red phoenix robe stood alone on the tall building of the main hall, with her hands on the white jade fence, her white hands were more moist and flawless than the white jade, it was hard to imagine this pair of soft hands, I don't know how much blood was on. The moonlight fell lightly, shining on the phoenix robe, reflecting the fiery shadow of the white moon, swaying on the ground. With the help of the moonlight, I could see the woman's face clearly. Her eyes were as bright as the moon, white and flawless, and her long eyelashes trembled slightly. In the depths of her eyes, there was a touch of indifference that could not be looked at, and a hint of the majesty of a superior. Temperament, the temperament of a superior. She is none other than Deus Empress, who is named the biggest superior and the person in power in this barbarian small area. Because with the help of the Temple of the Moon God, apart from the Dagon Empire, the other big empires in the small barbarian region are basically under Deus' control. Next second. The space in front of him began to distort. A woman with white hair and wearing a blue-black robe came out slowly. See. She leaned slightly towards the woman and said, Senior Luo. The white-haired woman just nodded, and then said, Master God Envoy ask you to launch a general attack. Heard the words. She replied, I understand, thank God Envoy for me. Because Deu was able to force Dagon to this point, most of them relied on the secret help of the Moon God Temple. After all, the comprehensive strength of the Dachin Empire in the small domain is very different. The white-haired woman, named Luo Qing, is the deputy god envoy of the ninth moon god envoy. At this moment, Luo Qing thought of something, and asked, How many years have you practiced? Counting this year, it has been three thousand years. The woman in the phoenix robe replied. Hearing this answer, Luo Qing was a little surprised, she never thought that there would be such a genius in this barren barbarian area. After three thousand years, plus set foot on the broken highlands. Even if it is placed in Qing Yu, it can be called a top talent. At this time, she looked at the woman in the phoenix robe and asked, I can take you away. Would you like to go to the temple of the moon god, or continue to stay in this small barbarian area? Of course, I'm just asking for your opinion. After annexing the Dagon Empire, you can also become the highest ranking person in this barbarian small area. Luo Qing cherishes talent, in her opinion, such talent should not be buried here. Heard the words. 
The woman in the phoenix robe fell into deep thought, and finally there were ripples in her beautiful eyes. Yes after annexing the Dagon Empire, she can be regarded as the highest ruler in this small domain in the true sense, and she has waited a long time for this day. But. When the day is really infinitely close. I have come into contact with the Temple of the Moon God, and have come into contact with the world beyond the endless sea. Only then did she realize that the place she once thought was so big was just a small barbarian territory of love to the outside world. So. Dot she already had the idea of? Breaking out of this small barbarian territory. After going to the Temple of the Moon God, she might just be a small person. But if she continues to stay here, she is still the supreme ruler who is under one person and above 10,000 people. Seeing the woman in the phoenix robe hesitated. Luo Qing smiled suddenly, waved his hands and said, Forget it, you have finally come to this point, and it is still hard for you to let go of everything you have. I'm just asking. Asterisk 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 heard the words. The woman in the phoenix robe also had a firm look in her eyes, and then she said to Luo Luo, Thank you, Senior Luo, for your kindness. In the future, she may leave this barbarian small domain and go to the outside world to pursue a greater immortality. But not now. When she came to this step, she did not know how much blood was stained in her hands, and how much effort she put in, she broke the ancestral precepts of the Dayu royal family and changed the pattern of Dayu. She still owes Dayu a future. Therefore, she cannot leave so easily. At least, when Dayu is built into a stronger empire and she is no longer needed, she will leave. No problem. Everyone has their own choices and pursuits. Luo Qing said with a smile. She also just loves it, and doesn't want such a genius to be buried here, but she is not a person who can be difficult. Senior Luo, may I ask? The general attack you are talking about is a decisive battle? The woman in the phoenix robe changed the subject and asked. After saying that, Luo Qing nodded and said, with an absolute attitude, annex the Dachin Empire without reservation, and don't leave behind. Because the Dagon Empire is the last empire in this small barbarian region that has not been annexed by Dayu. So, if the people of the Noxu clan really existed in this barbaric small area, then they could only exist in the Dachin Empire. Therefore, in order to force out that member of the Pei clan, Dayu must be allowed to attack without reservation, so that he has no place to hide. At this time, the woman in the phoenix robe thought of something, and said to Luo Qing, I don't know if Senior Luo has heard of Taiyi Holy Land? The words fell. Luo Qing frowned slightly, she had heard about this holy place a lot recently, and she even went to find out more about it. This holy land of Taiyi is backed by the holy kingdom of Jinyi. As for the Jinyi holy kingdom, in the mainland, its comprehensive strength and background are not much worse than the moon god temple, and even somewhat stronger than the moon god temple. Therefore, she is not willing to offend Jinyi Shangguo unless it is absolutely necessary. Heard about it. Is the holy land of Taiyi the Moli belonging to the Dagon Empire? Where is the address? Luo and others asked. Because in her opinion, if she wanted to find the Qi clan, even if she offended Jinyi Shangguo, it would be fine. Hearing this, the woman in the phoenix robe replied, The holy land of Taiyi is not really a natural power of the Dagon Empire. Its status is quite special, and it is above the Dagon Empire. However, the holy land of Taiyi is located within the territory of the Dagon Empire. The words fell. Luo Qing said, You don't need to worry about it, you just send troops, if you encounter obstacles that cannot be solved, we will take action. If the Taiyi Holy Land wants to stand up for the Dachin Empire, you can't back down, leave it to us to deal with it. However, I guess Taiyi Holy Land will not stand up for Dagon. We will not pass through the Taiyi Holy Land when we attack the Dagon Empire. Because the address of Taiyi Holy Land is in the sky. At a height of 10,000 meters. After finishing speaking, Luo Qing was startled. Looking up at the sky, his eyes pierced through the ink like night like a sharp knife, piercing the sky. Of course she knew about the Taiyi Holy Land, but. Dot she hadn't inquired about its location and where it was built. A holy land sect, built at a height of 10,000 meters, seems unreasonable no matter how you look at it. To carry a huge holy place, floating in the air, requires a huge formation, an endless supply of resources, and the risk of being shot down. In Luo Qing's eyes, there was a flash of fairy light. This Taiyi Holy Land. Has a problem. Is this hiding something? This is her first instinct. You don't have to worry about anything, just send troops, you don't need to worry about the rest. Don't worry. According to the promise, we are only using you to find what we are looking for, and it will not affect your great Yu Empire. After Luo Qing finished speaking, she left the place. After Luo Qing left, the woman in the phoenix robe looked at the night sky and sighed faintly. Do not know why. 
There is always an inexplicable sense of unease in her heart, and she always feels that something unexpected will happen this time when the Dachin Empire is fully annexed. But. Standing behind her is a transcendent force from the other side of the endless sea. Logically speaking, it is basically impossible for any accidents to occur in the small domain she is in. This day. The main force of the Dagon army in Xiangyang city suddenly rose up and launched a full-scale attack on the Dagon Empire. Due to the overwhelming momentum, the main force of the Dagon Empire stationed in Xiangyang city was completely defenseless, and it took only a few days. The main force of the entire Dagon Empire was repelled for more than a thousand miles. In the next few days, Daeyu's army occupied hundreds of cities, destroyed them, and was unstoppable. The entire Dachin Empire fell into a precarious situation in an instant. This day. Illusory Cloud Sect. Grand Elder Zhao Chongha stood in front of the main hall door, with his hands behind his back, his expression extremely dignified. At this time, an elder hurriedly came to Zhao Chongha, and because he ran too hastily, he almost stumbled and fell to the ground. The Great Elder. Heard the words. Zhao Chongha looked at the sky, and his voice was extremely hoarse, where is the enemy army? Now that we have reached Tongbai City, we are only a few days away from Illusory Cloud Sect. Great Elder, let's. What should we do? The factory. Great elder, what shall we do? This elder, named Ma Shin Thrush, can be regarded as a veteran of the illusory cloud sect. In his cognition, Wanyin sect is very powerful, one of the seven major sects, and it is considered a major sect in the Dagon Empire, but in recent years, as the Dayu Empire has become stronger and stronger, with the battle with the Dayu Empire intensified. He also gradually realized that Suiyin was too small. In front of the army of the Great Yu Empire, Huan Yunzong was like an ant, except for the hope that he would not be crushed to death by the aftermath, and had no chance to compete. This is the tragedy of being weak. Zhao Chongha had his hands behind his back, and his body was bent a lot. Compared to a few years ago, he seemed to be hundreds of years older, and obvious yellow spots and wrinkles could be seen on his face. A few years ago, although he was also old, except for his hair that was a little gray, his body and spirit were still strong, and he was even a little high-spirited. But. In the past few years, he has aged rapidly. Because the Dachin Empire was on the verge of collapse, and the head was missing, he was the only one supporting the entire Wanyan sect. With the outbreak of the war, the weak Huan Yunzong didn't know what to do and how to deal with it. At this time, Zhao Chongha sighed faintly and said, What should I do? You ask me what to do, and I know who I should ask what to do. The overall situation is about to be decided, the general trend has been achieved, the demise of the Dagon Empire is a foregone conclusion and whether our Wanyan sect can survive can only depend on the destiny. Hearing what Zhao Chang has said, Ma Shin Thrush also had a look of despair, although he knew that because the elders couldn't do anything about it. But when he really learned the hopeless fact that he was powerless and was waiting to die, he would feel a deep sense of powerlessness in his heart. This sense of powerlessness is the sorrow of the weak. In this world, strength is the most important thing. As long as you don't have enough strength, you can only compromise at any time, and you don't even have the chance to compromise you can only sit and wait for death. Great Elder, I have something very important to tell you. Elder Mu has left illusory cloud sect with that Mu Yang. At this time, Ma Shin Thrush thought of something, and said to the Great Elder Zhao Chongha. Heard the words. Zhao Chongha frowned, and his face darkened immediately. When did you leave? It should have gone down the mountain quietly a few days ago. When the two of them left, their expressions were a little strange. I just went to the treasury to check and found that one fifth of the treasure resources in the treasury had been taken away. Great elder, are they considered a distance? Ma Shin Thrush originally wanted to use the word defect. That elder Mu and his son were brought back by the elder and supported by the elder, so it was not good for him to say the word defect in front of the elder. After hearing Ma Shin Thrush's words, Zhao Chongha clenched his fists unconsciously, his breathing became a little short, he closed his eyes and took several deep breaths. Then he opened his eyes, and his voice became very cold, the old man is blind. I thought I would bring hope to the sect, but I didn't expect. To bring back two wolves, two traitors. Because Mu Gui is his younger brother, and his son is also an out-and-out -out Tianzhao, who was once accepted as a disciple by Hidden Sword Villa. Later, they came to the illusory cloud sect. Zhao Chongha also directly gave Mu Gui the position of elder, and gave his son Mu Yang the absolute treatment of holy son. No matter what resources, they tend to give him. Unexpectedly, the Huan Yunzong ran away immediately after encountering a catastrophe, taking so many resources and treasures with them before fleeing. At this moment, Zhao Chongha regretted it so much that his chest felt tight and painful. Now, he is very fortunate that the person who went to Taiyi Holy Land to study was Su Han, 
not the white-eyed wolf. Immediately, Zhao Chongha raised his head and looked at the sky. I don't know what happened to Su Han. In fact, he didn't want Su Han to come back, so he stayed in the Taiyi Holy Land. Currently, only the Taiyi Holy Land is safe in the entire Dachin Empire. Elder Ma, how many disciples are there in the sect? Many disciples should have quietly left the mountain. At this time, Zhao Chongha thought of something, and asked Ma Shen Thrush. He also thought about it, now that the situation is unstoppable, there is a high probability that the illusory cloud sect will perish in the smoke of war. Instead of letting the disciples die with the sect, it is better to give them a freedom. If Mu Gui and his son Mu Yang still stick to the illusory cloud sect, Zhao Chongha will also let them go free. Because Zhao Chongha only needs to know their thoughts, that's enough. No, only a small number of outer disciples left. But. Almost 90% of the inner sect disciples stick to the illusory cloud sect. When the general trend of the border was broken and the illusory cloud sect was about to face extinction, most of the disciples who went out to practice all came back. And. Having said this, Mosh and Thrush suddenly paused, with a strange expression on his face. Seeing this, Zhao Chongha asked, And what happened? Furthermore, those disciples who came back all went to the Buddhist scripture pavilion. Almost every disciple is asking me, where did Elder Su go? Heard the words, Zhao Changhe's eyes widened instantly. He knew that Su Han was very popular, because over the years, many high-ranking and powerful people had come to inquire about Su Han's news. He also knew that Su Han was also very popular among the disciples of the illusory cloud sect. Almost all the disciples liked Su Han very much. But. He definitely didn't expect it. How can it reach this level? For Su Han, would you rather face death and persevere? Unexpectedly, in the end, the solidification and bond of the entire illusory cloud sect was all due to Su Han's existence alone. Where are those disciples? Zhao Chongha asked. Ma Shandong replied. Still in the Sutra Pavilion, the Great Elder is in retreat these days, maybe he doesn't know. Dot now most of the disciples are staying in the Sutra Pavilion and don't go anywhere. Hearing this, Zhao Chongha looked surprised, and asked, Su Han isn't here, what are they all doing in the Sutra Pavilion? The words fell. Ma Shenxuan looked a little embarrassed, and then said, Grand Elder, Dao didn't go there in person, did he? Immediately. The old man turned into a streak of light and disappeared in place in an instant. In the next second, he arrived in front of the Buddhist scripture pavilion. When he saw the scene in front of him, he was also stunned. Almost 80% or even 90% of the disciples of the entire illusory cloud sect are here. The scene was very quiet, everyone was quietly copying books in the sutra pavilion, and no one made a sound. It was quiet and peaceful. This practice of copying books was a rule established by Su Han when he was in the Sutra Pavilion on the spot. For some reason, Zhao Changhe's heart skipped a beat when he saw this scene. Although Su Han is no longer here, the prestige and majesty he left behind has become the bond of harmony and unity among the disciples of the illusory cloud sect. Until now, Zhao Changhe still couldn't figure out why Su Han could do this. Seeing this scene, Zhao Chongha also knew that this was the attitude and determination of the disciples of the illusory cloud sect. They came to this sutra pavilion to copy books, in fact, to show themselves, the manager of the illusory cloud sect. Seeing their determination, let Zhao Chongha know that they are willing to stay here for Su Han. Seeing Zhao Changhe's arrival, these disciples all raised their heads and looked at Zhao Chongha. These gazes all contain the same meaning, which is to ask Zhao Chongha why Elder Su is not here. Feel those gazes. Zhao Changhe's body trembled subconsciously, and at this moment he felt. So Su Han's status in the hearts of these disciples has already surpassed himself as the great elder by three. He knew that it was time to tell the truth, next second. Zhao Changhe's eyes flicked for a week. Now, when the illusory cloud sect is alive and dead, I, Zhao Chongha, as the great elder of the illusory cloud sect, should not hide it from you. His voice, although small, clearly reached the ears of every disciple. I know, you all think. I put on little shoes for Elder Su and pushed him away. Maybe you don't believe what I say. Although I am an old-fashioned person, I have never thought of driving away any of the disciples in Changni of the illusory cloud sect. Now, Elder Su is no longer in the illusory cloud sect, and he may not come back in the future. After finishing speaking, Zhao Chongha smiled wryly. The expressions of all the disciples seem to have not changed. At this time, a disciple sitting in front stood up and asked Zhao Chongha, Grand Elder, you have misunderstood, we are not asking you to blame the teacher. We just want to know, is Elder Su safe? The words fell. Zhao Changhe's face showed surprise, and he didn't quite understand what these disciples were thinking. I can't guarantee anything else, 
but the place where Elder Su is located is the safest place in the entire Dagon Empire. The words fell. The expressions of all the disciples relaxed in the same way, and it was obvious that they breathed a sigh of relief. The representative disciple who asked about Zhao Changhe's disciple, named Ji Yu Yan, was an inner disciple, and among the inner disciples, he also belonged to the top few. He had, and had, received help and guidance from Su Han, and in just a few years, he grew up step by step and reached this point. Ji Yu Yan heard Zhao Changhe's words, and immediately replied, Elder, we just want to know if Elder Su is safe. Now that we know that Elder Su is safe, we are all at ease. In the eyes of these disciples including Ji Yu Yan, the existence of Elder Su is like the existence of uncle, and relative, in their hearts. Because in the past, when they were in despair and difficulties in life, they were all pulled by Elder Su. They also knew that Mr. Su was old and indifferent, and lived the rest of his life in a mediocre manner. As juniors, they now have a certain strength and are much stronger. Of course, they will repay Elder Su, at least let Elder Su live out his life in peace. Therefore, after learning that Elder Su was safe, they were greatly relieved. Because, if Elder Su is still in the Sutra Pavilion, with their strength, they will not be able to protect Elder Su's safety at all. This moment, Zhao Chongha and Ma Shen Thrush behind them also gasped in their hearts, filled with emotion and shocked beyond measure. It's unimaginable that there is actually a person who has the support of so many people at the same time. At this time, Zhao Chongha said to these disciples. Now, Dayu has broken through the great power and is unstoppable. Soon, Yin Shi may crush the phantom clouds. The illusory cloud sect, as already dead, it is irresistible. Since you also know that Elder Su has gone to a safe place, then you have no reason to stay in the illusory cloud sect and be buried with the illusory cloud sect. You. Hurry up and go down the mountain, and go alive. Zhao Changhe's voice was a little hoarse. He never thought that one day he would send all the disciples of his sect down the mountain. This is equivalent to destroying the painstaking efforts of a lifetime of management with one's own hands. The illusory cloud sect is everything to him. The words fell. All the disciples stood up, looked at Zhao Chongha, and their eyes became firm. At this time, Ji Yu Yan said to Zhao Chongha, Great Elder, Elder Su once taught us to be a person who knows how to be grateful. Elder Su is kind to us, and Huan Yunzong is also kind to us. Without the training resources provided by Huan Yunzong, we would not be able to grow, nor would we be able to continue on the road of cultivating immortals. So, we're not leaving. Illusory cloud sect is here, we are. Illusory cloud sect dies, we die. These words represented the heartfelt voice of all the disciples of the illusory cloud sect. The voice was very calm, but it echoed in Zhao Changhe's mind like a torrent of thunder. Illusory cloud sect dies, we die. The voices of the disciples reverberated throughout the entire sutra pavilion, echoing continuously. Zhao Changhe froze in place as if petrified. A complex emotion surged up in his heart. He looked at these disciples who looked at death for the sake of the sect. The nose is a little sour. At this moment, he realized that as a teacher, the greatest pride is not that he has taught such a powerful disciple. The greatest pride is that the disciples he has taught, stick to them from beginning to end, and never give up. This seems to be the meaning of teaching. In the past, he was a little rigid, a little old-fashioned, and his gaze was fixed on those Tian Zhao disciples who stood out. But now, standing in front of him at this moment, the disciples who are willing to stick to the illusory cloud sect are all disciples who he doesn't pay much attention to on weekdays, and maybe he hasn't even seen him. At this moment, for some reason, Zhao Chongha envied Su Han. He knew that these disciples were taught by Su Han. Of course, he is just envious, not jealous. He also wanted to thank Su Han in person, but he didn't expect that he, who was usually unknown, was the real pillar of the Wanyan sect. However, Zhao Chongha also hoped that Su Han would never come back, stay away from the war, and practice hard in Taiyi Holy Land. Because in any case, Su Han's strength is still too weak. Although his talent is not bad, facing Dayu's army of monks, Su Han will only be buried with the illusory cloud sect when he comes back. Need to grow. In this special period, staying in Taiyi Holy Land is the best choice. Seeing the resolute expressions of these disciples, Zhao Chongha stopped persuading them, because he knew that he couldn't persuade them anymore. Now, I can only pray that the army of the Dayu Empire will not run over the Huan Yunzong and let the Huan Yunzong go. At this time, Zhao Changhe's expression also returned to strict thinking. In this case, pass my order. The illusory cloud sect activates the third level alert, the guardian array is opened, the treasure house is open, all resources and weapons can be selected, and the most perfect combat state is maintained. The words fell. Yes. All the disciples nodded one after another and left the Jing Pavilion. 
After all the disciples had left, Zhao Chonghe looked at the empty hall of the Sutra Pavilion and sighed heavily. The time has passed, and the years have changed. The Huan Yunzong, who once thought it was high and high, has now reached the point of humbleness and survival. With the large-scale entry of the Dayu army, the defense line of the Dagon Empire collapsed like a piece of paper. In just a few days, almost one-third of the territory of the Dagon Empire was occupied by the Dayu Empire. This moment. On the distant border, above the dilapidated city wall. One under the city wall, corpses were strewn all over the field, and even looking at the broken limbs and arms, the ground was almost stained red with blood, and even the air was filled with the smell of blood. The cold wind was bleak, blowing the broken corners of the man's clothes, making him look a bit overwhelmed and desolate. Looking carefully, the man's body was covered with blood, the wounds had formed blood scabs, there were countless wounds on his body, the armor on his body had been broken into pieces, and even broken remnants had been embedded in his flesh. Even so, the man still stood straight, without any fear in his eyes, staring straight ahead. This is, a soldier with a broken leg limped up the city wall. The soldier looked at the man's back, his eyes turned red, and his voice was hoarse, General Xiao, please. Please go. You've done enough for the big. You didn't feel sorry for Dagon, but Dagon was sorry for you. Even the breath of this soldier's speech was already very weak, as if if he said a word, he would fall to the ground. This man is none other than Xiao Renlong. Now he, the soldiers under him, have all fallen. The soldiers in Xiao Renlong's hands, all the sources of soldiers, resources, and family foundation of the Xiao family were all wiped out. Throughout the process, the royal family in the rear did not support a single soldier, nor did they support any resources. Although it is said that Xiao Renlong is only guarding a small border town. However, now the entire frontier of the border, except for the city guarded by Xiao Renlong, has been destroyed. In fact, it is useless for Xiao Renlong to persist any longer. Because Dayu's main force had already entered the territory of Dagon. But even so, Ren Long did not retreat. At this time, when the sun rose in the sky and the light of morning light fell on the earth, Xiao Renlong, who looked like a statue, exhaled heavily. Eight years. Eight years have passed, and he has completed the task before guarding. Because he came to the border for the first time, the task was to guard the city where he was located for eight years. Now, his duty is done, he has been loyal to the Dagon Empire. Xiao Renlong is not a stubborn person, but he is a principled person. After guarding for eight years, as a general of Dagon, he has no debts to Dagon and has a clear conscience. Since then, Yingen's demise has nothing to do with him. At this time, Xiao Renlong turned his head and said to the lame soldier beside him, Old Yang, you and I have been together for eight years. General, yesterday was the last day, and today is exactly eight years. Such a soldier showed a smile, and blood overflowed from the corner of his mouth. Take this and go all the way north from here, leave Dagon. At this time, Xiao Renlong took out a storage bag from his cuff and threw it to him without giving him the party he refused. Yang Zhaofang took the storage bag, and said quickly, General, you are seriously injured, I have to take care of you, otherwise. If you follow me, you will only drag me down. I let you go. Do you have to give me an order? Xiao Renlong glared at Yang Zhaofang. Yang Zhaofang was one of those people who initially supported Xiao Renlong, he was loyal and the last soldier by his side. Therefore, Xiao Renlong directly gave him freedom, let him stay away from the big cadres, and live. At this time, Yang Zhaofang froze, and swallowed the words forcefully. He understood the general's temper. General, is this an order? At this time, Yang Zhaofang asked again. The words fell. That's right. In this way, Xiao Renlong sent away the last soldier in his hands. At this time you. He took out a small green axis bottle from his cuff, poured out two pills in blue color, swallowed them in one gulp, and the injuries on his body recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye. Immediately, he turned around and headed in a certain direction. Now he has more important things Dachin Empire. Imperial City. In the Zijin Palace. A majestic man, sitting firmly on the throne. On both sides of the main hall, the ministers wearing luxurious court clothes and black hats all lowered their heads in horror and did not dare to look at the expression of the person in the hall. In the entire hall, the air pressure was terribly low, and it was so quiet that only the sound of breathing one after another could be heard. Sitting on top of the main hall, the majestic man wearing a heavy golden dragon robe is the current emperor of the Dachin Empire Qian Wenlong. Qian Wenlong looked around for a week, as if looking for something, then frowned, facing a tall man in snow-white willow armor at the front left of the main hall. This man is the only one who can go up in armor and with a weapon. He is none other than Yu Yi Shuai of the Dagon Empire Lu Wanbai. Lu Yubai, the legend of the Dagon Empire, 
a marshal of a generation, guarding the border for thousands of years, is the patron saint of the Dagon Empire. But if you take a closer look, you will find that there are several extremely deep scars on the Generalissimo's neck. The wounds here are all aimed at beheading people, and the wounds are not long ago. From this point, it can be seen out, the decline of the Dachin Empire. Qian Wenlong looked at Lu Yubai, and asked word by word. Didn't the national teacher look for you? Why didn't he go to court with you? Heard the words. Lu Yubai was also stunned, and then cupped his fists and said, Go back to your majesty, the national teacher asked me to tell your majesty that he went to that place. Lu Yubai himself didn't know the specific place, but he knew that his majesty must know the place. The words fell. A look of surprise flashed in Qian Wenlong's eyes. Now, the holy land of Taiyi has almost stated its position that it will not intervene in the war, so. Dot the only hope is the national teacher. If the national teacher went to, that place, please, that person, to take action. Then the crisis of the entire Dachin Empire will be resolved in an instant. Qian Wenlong looked around the hall for a week, and his complexion became gloomy in an instant. Bring people up. Follow the words. A few masked soldiers in golden armor pressed a dozen or so monks in prison uniforms and iron cuffs into the hall. As Qian Wenlong's coercion was released, these dozen people showed pain and knelt down on the ground. Seeing the appearance of these dozen or so people, the other ministers in the hall were also trembling with shock on their faces. Because some time ago, these people stood on both sides of the hall just like them, and they were all important ministers of the royal family of the Dagon Empire. Randomly pick out one. All of them are high ranking and important people but at this moment, they are kneeling on the ground like a dead dog. Tell me, when did you and the big collusion go up? Qian Wenlong was condescending, staring at these dozens of people, and the whole hall was silent. At this time, one of the old men with disheveled hair slowly raised his head, looked at the man on the throne, and said with a wry smile, Collusion? My, good lord, I want to ask, when my Qingshan city was besieged by Deyu's army, when I asked you for help, where were you? Qingshan city is also your territory. Why did you give it up without even thinking about it? As the lord of Qingshan city, I was besieged for more than a thousand days and nights. My son died in battle, my daughter died in battle, and my grandson died in battle. All the people in Qingshan city, die in front of me, one by one. I'm struggling to support, why haven't I waited for support? Is it because our Qingshan city is just an unimportant small town? Is it because we are just a humble pawn? The crazy words of the old man continued to echo throughout the hall. Heard the words. Qian Wenlong frowned, and his expression became ugly. Then he said, Is this the reason for your rebellion? Ha 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 ha, rebellion. Yes, we are traitors, all of Qingshan city are traitors, the entire mountain city is a traitor from beginning to end. How is it? Are you satisfied with these? As he spoke, the old man suddenly broke free from the coercion that erupted from nowhere, and rushed towards Qian Wenlong. Seeing this, Qian Long's pupils trembled, and he held it blankly. Court death. Next second. The old man died on the spot, and his entire Dantian and sea of consciousness were shattered. Suddenly, the temperature of the entire hall suddenly dropped by several points. Immediately, Qian Long glared at the remaining dozen or so people, and said to the golden armored soldiers, Pull it out, behead it, and hang it at the gate of the city, let others see what will happen to the traitor. What Qian Wenlong did was to make an example to other people. Of course, the effect is immediate. The other ministers in the hall expressed their views one after another, firming their positions. After retreating, Qian Wenlong left Liu Yubai alone. What orders does your majesty have? Liu Yubai knew the emperor's character and asked straight to the point. Go to Fulong City yourself to find Su Ying, you let Su Han come to see me. Qian Wenlong said to Liu Yubai. At this moment, Liu Yu showed doubts on his face and asked, Su Han? Who is Su Han? Heard the words. Only then did Qian Wenlong realize that Liu Yubai had been in the border region for decades, so of course he was not familiar with Su Han. The new city lord of Rune Dragon City, the words fell. Surprise flashed in Liu Yubai's eyes, I've heard about the replacement of Fulong City with a new city lord. The Su Han his majesty mentioned is the new city lord, right? Fu Longcheng has been a little strange recently, but I can't tell what it is. You bring Su Han to see me. After all, Fulong City is one of the three major cities in our Dagon. Fulongcheng's position must be determined, otherwise the impact will be too great. Recently, some places have taken refuge in Deyu, so. Dot you should understand what I mean. Qian Wenlong said word by word. Yes, I'll go there myself. Liu Yubai thought of something again, and asked, Do you want to beat it in advance? The words fell. 
Qian Wenlong waved his hand and said, Be careful when you start, just hit it properly. At the same time, to the north of the remote Dagon border region, continue to go north, and then jump across the endless sea of almost tens of millions of kilometers, and come to an independent small island region. An old man in grey clothes and a middle-aged man appeared on this small island. The old man in grey is the national teacher of the Dagon Empire. If the middle-aged man on the side was Su Han, he would have recognized him at first sight. At this moment, the middle-aged man asked in a low voice to the grey-clothed old man in front of him, Master, this doesn't seem to be the Dagon Empire? Where is this place? When the words fell, the old man in grey didn't answer, but said, From now on, I didn't ask you, so don't say a word. Just follow me, don't look around, don't walk around. This middle-aged man, if Su Han was here, he would definitely feel shocked. He is none other than the treasurer Wang of Fu Longcheng, Wang Wen. Since Wang Wen followed Da Qin's national teacher, he has become the confidant of the old national teacher. At this moment, Wang Wen, although his appearance has not changed much, his temperament has undergone earth-shaking changes. In the past, he was a good old man who would smile and bow to everyone he saw, but now, he already has a bit of a sense of immortality, reclusive in the city, with a city mansion, and calm. Su Han didn't expect that Wang Wen's fate had already changed. Without saying a word, he followed behind the old national teacher, without squinting, staring straight ahead. The grey-clothed old man walked through a dense forest and swamp, and soon heard the sound of water hitting the bluestone, coming from the front. After the two walked out of the dense forest one after the other, he saw the scenery in front of him clearly. This is a waterfall with a height of 1,000 meters. The water flow is like a galaxy hanging upside down, pouring down and hitting the bluestone. In front of the waterfall, there is a three-story bamboo building made of green bamboo. The substantive aura mixed with water mist surrounds the bamboo building, like a fairyland. At this time, the grey-clothed old man said to Wang Wen behind him, You wait for me here, don't run around. Yes. Wang Wen nodded. Today, with the help of the national teacher, his cultivation base has successfully reached the Shanshan realm, and he can already be regarded as a strong one. According to the national teacher, his training talent is extremely high, and he is a late blooming genius. Coupled with Wang Wen's impeccable, low key, and persevering character, he not only became the confidant of the national teacher, but also became the only closed disciple. The old man in grey looked at the bamboo pavilion in front of him, straightened out the wrinkles on his clothes, took a deep breath, and approached step by step. It can be seen from his uneven breathing that he is very nervous. Although the distance seemed to be only a few hundred meters, the old man in grey walked for nearly three hours. The closer you get to the attic, the stronger the feeling of oppression. Finally, he stopped in front of the attic. After struggling for a long time, he raised his head, looked at the balcony on the second floor of the attic, and shouted softly, Junior Lu Yang, pay my respects to Senior White. The words fell. After a while, crunch. The door was pushed open. A figure slowly walked out of the door, stood in front of the wooden railing, and looked down at the grey-clothed old man standing below. This is a young girl, wearing a clean and simple white plain dress, with long white hair falling down her waist like a waterfall, and a pair of light blue pupils, as if carrying everything, making people dare not look at each other. Her face is like a natural carving, every detail is just right, and her appearance seems to have taken away the beauty of this fairyland. Are you? That little deer from back then? The voice is very mature and ethereal, with the weight of time, forming a strong contrast with her girlish appearance. Heard the words. The grey-clothed old man did not dare to look at the white-haired girl from the beginning to the end, and then he cupped his fists at the white-haired girl and bent heavily. Senior still remembers me, it is the honour of this junior for a lifetime. He is the national teacher of the Dagon Empire, with a high status, equivalent to the second in command of the empire, an existence under one person and above ten thousand people, but at this moment, when facing this white-haired girl, he is like a trembling junior, respect to the extreme. Tell me, what do you want from me? The white-haired girl asks straight to the point without any nonsense. The junior dare not, I just want to say goodbye to the senior for the first time at night. The grey-clothed old man replied word by word. The words fell. A fairy light flashed in the pupils of the white-haired girl, she waved her hand, and a palm-sized bronze mirror appeared in her palm. She lowered her head and looked at the chaotic nothingness on the surface of the bronze mirror. Immediately, he put away the bronze mirror, and said slowly, You want me to help the Dachin Empire from this catastrophe, right? The old man in grey knew that nothing could be hidden from this senior. He still didn't want to see the Dagon Empire perish like this, so he thought of this senior. With the realm of this senior, helping the Dagon Empire is just a matter of waving hands. But he didn't dare, didn't dare to say these words. It's not that I don't help, 
it's Dagon's fate that has already been decided. Although I'm not afraid of Moon God Palace, if I make a move, Mew God Palace will let E. However, from what I see in the sky, Dagon's demise is a foregone conclusion. It cannot be saved, and it should not be saved. You should also leave Dagon early and go to the outside world to see, don't live in this barbarian small area for the rest of your life. The white-haired woman looked down at the old man in grey and said quietly. Hearing these words, Lubian was not very surprised, in fact, he also guessed the result. Because of the strength and status of the seniors, if they intervene in the war between the Dagon Empire, which is just a small country in their eyes, it will have a great impact. Some powerful people in the mainland will restrict each other, not to be born, not to interfere in world affairs, this is an unwritten rule. Therefore, his real purpose is actually to say goodbye, because no matter whether the seniors make a move or not, he will leave the Dagon Empire. Senior, this junior has taken in an apprentice, and is planning to pass on the mantle. I'm going to take him out for a walk, to see the world, and it's paving the way. The junior counts his days, and he doesn't have many years to live, so this is the last time I see the senior. Thank you, the senior, for saving me. The junior nothing to repay. As he spoke, Lu Yang knelt down towards the white-haired woman and kowtowed heavily. Heard the words. The white-haired woman slowly raised her head and looked at Wang Wen who was standing not far away. Then he said, Yes, he is a good seedling. Get up and leave early. In fact, to the white-haired woman, Lu Yang was just a child she saved by passing by. After Lu Yang stood up, after hesitating for a long time, I decided to say. Senior, in the eyes of seniors, the Dagon Empire is a tiny country. But. In this small country, there is also a Qianlong Tianzhao, with great potential, this is the first time this junior has seen him in his life. Senior loves talents, this Qianlong Tianzhao may make seniors interested. Heard the words. The white-haired woman slightly adjusted her eyebrows and asked, Who is it? Su Han. The man of the empire. Although Liu Yang has only met Su Han once, he has a strong premonition that the future of this young man will go very high. Now that the Dagon Empire is on the verge of collapse, Su Han is still very small in front of the mighty Dayu Empire and the Moon God Temple behind Dayu. If this senior can develop a love of talent towards Su Han, it can be regarded as Su Han's fortune. Next second. With a thought in the white-haired woman's mind, the bronze mirror reappeared in her palm. Su Han. She murmured softly. The mirror surface of the bronze mirror began to become void and chaotic. Suddenly, her pupils fluttered slightly, as if she saw something incredible. The chaotic mirror began to gradually become clear. In the chaos, stood a figure, to be precise, it should be a figure from the back. The woman's eyes fell on this back figure, and the moment her eyes made contact, she seemed unable to move away. It wasn't because of being attracted or anything, it was because of a strange power that gave her a feeling of confinement. When she was about to see the appearance of this figure clearly, she found that she couldn't see clearly anyway, only this figure could be seen. After trying countless times, the woman's face became pale enough to be visible to the naked eye, and she finally felt an inexplicable sense of crisis. If she continued to spy on her, something might happen. Finally, with a wave of her jade hand, she put away the bronze mirror, her chest rose and fell, and she exhaled slowly. At this time, Liu Yang who was not far away was also startled. He was good at observing words and expressions, of course he knew that something might happen to the senior. Immediately, he hurriedly said, Senior, but what happened? The words fell. The woman waved her hand and said, Nothing. I know the person you mentioned. Let me also warn you, you'd better not have too much contact with the person you mentioned in the future, because. He is not someone you can control. Dear Martingale after thinking for a while, the woman still reminded this junior out of good intentions. Hearing this, Liu Yang's heart was agitated, but his expression was not pretending to be calm. Immediately, he clasped his fists at the woman and said, The junior remembers the teachings of the seniors, so the seniors will leave first. After all, the woman nodded slightly. After Liu Yang took a few steps back, he clasped his fists again, turned around and strode towards the way he came. Master. What's wrong? Seeing that Liu Yang's face was a bit strange, Wang Wen asked aloud. Go out and talk. Just like that, the two walked outside one after the other. After the two left, the white-haired woman looked forward, with a little fairy fire jumping in her eyes, as if she had traveled through endless space and looked at a certain place. Soon, he withdrew his gaze and sighed faintly. He murmured, it's kind of weird. After speaking, he disappeared in place. After leaving the small island area, Liu Yang turned around and said to Wang Wen, what's your relationship with that city lord Su? The words fell. Wang Wen frowned, and asked back, is Master Su the one you are asking? He hesitated for a long time, 
but decided to express his attitude, and replied word by word. Master, Mr. Su is the most important benefactor in my life. Maybe you can say something about filial piety. Choose between Zun and Ren, I will choose Mr. Su. Wang Wen expressed his attitude in this way to show his position. If the master wants to harm Mr. Su, he will be the first to stop it. He is such a character, he will not hide it, because both of them are very important to him. If he had to choose one, he would choose the Soviet area. Hearing these words, Liu Yang froze in place on the spot. He was too familiar with his only disciple, and he knew that his words came from the heart. After being stunned for a while, Liu Yang suddenly burst out laughing. Ha 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 ha, my good apprentice, you really dare to say it, you can't hide ten o'clock in your heart. In fact, he was very satisfied with Wang Wen's reaction. Because it can also be seen from this that Wang Wen is a very affectionate and righteous person, and he has no secrets about himself as a master. It is such a character that Liu Yang regards him as his successor. Don't worry, I have the same idea as you. I admire that city lord Su very much. This time I came to visit this senior, and before leaving, I asked the senior to take care of him specially. Hear this. Wang Wen's eyes fluttered, and then he bowed heavily towards Liu Yang and said, Thank you, master. Teacher misunderstood you. Asterisk 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 asterisk, all right. We should go. As he spoke, Liu Yang patted Wang Wen's shoulder heavily. Go home? Wang Wen heard something unusual in master's words. No, we have to leave here and go to a faraway place. As he spoke, Liu Yang turned his head and looked at the boundless endless sea in front of him, a fairy light flashed in his eyes. A place far away. Wang Wen also followed master's gaze and looked over. Except for the endless sea, he couldn't see anything else. The Dagon Empire is too small, the version map you know is just a very small barbarian domain. In the mainland, there are too many small barbarian domains like this. We have to go out and see the more magnificent world outside. As he said that, Liu Yang couldn't help getting a little excited, and finally, it was time to go out. Follow me. Yes. Just like that, the figures of the two disappeared into the mist rising from the endless sea, and no one knew where they went. The national teacher hasn't come back yet. In the imperial palace of the big money, the middle-aged man who had always been quite majestic, now felt a little anxious in his heart. Returning to his majesty, the national teacher has not returned yet. Hearing this, all the ministers next to him started talking. Am I really going to die? Even. Speaking of this, he suddenly paused. The leaf was still in despair, but he looked at the civil and military officials in the court again. Your Majesty, Deu has overwhelmed him, and now he has arrived at the gate of the Imperial City. There are still a few days at most before rushing in. The battle situation on the front line was tight, and Deu's troops were extremely powerful, and they were pressing towards this side with such mighty might. Those who can stay in this palace are all old monsters who have lived for hundreds of thousands of years, but their hearts are all in a mess. Under the cover of the nest, how can there be any eggs, this truth they all understand. They are important ministers of Dagon, if the Dagon Empire is broken by Deyu, they will never survive. If it was ten days ago, there was only one thought in their hearts, to escape. Just one day later, the heads of the twelve defectors were already hanging at the gate of the city. Has the lord of Fulong city not been found yet? Where are the people from the Holy Land? Call them all. After overturning the nest, there will be no eggs left. Long Yan, a middle-aged man sitting on the throne, was furious, but at this moment, there was no sound from below. His Majesty. Over there at Hidden Sword Villa. Dot all the disciples were summoned back, and now. Fu Longcheng also. It took a long time before someone spoke, but the tone of the speaker was somewhat hesitant. Since the old swordmaster issued the order of Hidden Sword Villa, all the disciples have returned to the Holy Land, so there is no trace of Hidden Sword Villa on the front line. Your Majesty, the soldiers are suppressing the situation, and now there is no way to recover from it, unless there is a god who can stand up and maintain the situation. Only. Having said that, the man suddenly stopped and sighed helplessly. Who doesn't know that in the Dachin Empire, there are very few strong people in the Broken Realm, where to find the strong ones in the Wenshin Realm? This glimmer of hope is also like a phantom. The entire imperial court is in a state of ashes, because what awaits them is the arrival of death. At this moment, in Dragon City King, the entire Fulong city didn't seem to be affected by the flames of war, and they still performed their duties, but some places for entertainment in the city seem to be less crowded. Master Su, what should I do? Although there is still music in Fulong City, Hu Donglai, who is in charge of the big and small affairs of Fulong City, naturally knows what is happening outside. He still understands the truth that there are no eggs after a nest is overturned. Even Fulong City, 
one of the three main cities, has a tendency to surpass the imperial city under the leadership of Mr. Su. But if the big work is broken, I don't know how much it will be affected. Of course, Hu Donglai didn't have any good impression of Da Qin. General Xiao's family is the best example. The former General Xiao was an ever victorious general, was he so majestic? General Xiao Xiao is also extremely powerful, leading his army to kill countless enemies and defend against foreign enemies. What did little General Xiao get by defending the city a while ago? He didn't wait for a trace of support, and only relied on the confidence of the general's family to maintain the army's expenses. Such an emperor, why keep it? How about overthrowing everything, even Dayu? In his eyes, as long as he is a wise monarch and doesn't casually hurt innocent people, that's enough. And he heard that the city guarded by General Xiao Xiao has now been breached by Dayu. There is no news from the defenders, and no one knows the specific situation. The only thing I know is that in that battle, Yin Xia dispatched the Xing Jie from the Purple Mansion. I hope little General Xiao can return safely. With Mr. Su in Fulong City, it will be fine. General Hu, another order from the royal family has come, telling us to transfer all our combat power to the palace. When Hu Donglai heard this, he smiled lightly. Never mind. He actually made a good plan. Yesterday he asked himself to gather all the combat power, and today he will take it all away. Doesn't this mean that he wants to give up Fulong City? If he really obeyed this will, where would he put the people in Fulong City? In terms of population and size alone in Fulong City, number 4 is not inferior to the Imperial Palace, and its economy is even more crushing compared to that of the Imperial Palace. After all, the Jin family is in this Fulongcheng. For such an important city, at this juncture, even if the Imperial Palace does not send troops to support it, it is even necessary to withdraw all combat power? At this time, Hu Donglai was also bearish. The so called family and country feelings, then this country must be worthy of the heart and the people, right? A country that doesn't care about the life and death of the people at all, and the pillars of the country are thrown away like abandoned children. How is this not frustrating? With such an emperor here, how can we talk about family and country feelings? Notify all the monks in the city that they have recently raised their spirits and are always ready for battle. Without my order, no one is allowed to have any conflicts in the city. Offenders will be expelled from the city. Perhaps in the eyes of ordinary people, expelling Fulong City is harmless, but the people who are still in Fulong City have basically received the help of the city lord. He is absolutely obedient to Su Han, and now that the country is in crisis, they all made up their minds to advance and retreat times with Fulongcheng. Not for anything else, just because the city lord is not here, and must not let Master Su see a dilapidated city when he comes back, this one reason is enough. No matter what cultivator in the Purple Mansion realm he is, they have no fear. Because, without Mr. Su, they would not have everything they have today. In the holy land of Taiyi, Su Han's spiritual consciousness enveloped the entire Dagon Empire, and Su Han could see all the details of the war. I didn't expect them to move so quickly. Su Han was also a little shocked by this crushing speed, but after careful investigation, he also understood. In all the battles, Su Han found that the people sent by Dayu were always more powerful than the ones on Dagon's side. For example, most of Dagon's monks are from Lingai realm, while Dayu's side is mostly from Shanshan realm. The highest combat strength on Dagon's side is the Shanshan realm, because the top combat strength on the other side has at least the Purple Mansion realm. The gap of a big realm appears incomparably huge in battle. It is also because of this that Dagon has no resistance at all. From the distribution of combat power, it can be seen that Dayu is very well prepared this time, and he came here for the idea of annexation. Moreover, Dayu does not simply have an absolute advantage in the distribution of troops, but also has absolute suppression in top strength. With the gap in the top combat power, coupled with the gap in the distribution of combat power, it is only a matter of time before Dayu wants to wipe out the big guns. What made Su Han curious was how would Dayu deal with the previous sects after defeating Dagon. There are only two paths before them, either let Dayu's original sect spread its branches and leaves, and let it develop into the main body. But this is obviously a trend of suppressing the original sect forces, and I am afraid it will cause quite a wave. Although Dayu has enough strength to suppress such sect riots, there is no doubt that those who lose the hearts of the people will lose the world, which will definitely have a big impact on Dayu's future national fortune. As for the second method, that is to continue to maintain the power of their sect, and the Dayu royal family also recognizes their status. In this way, there is no doubt that it is a two-way development situation. How will the person in power in Dayu deal with it? Su Han continued to investigate the situation in some big cities, and at this time he already had the answer in his heart. In some of the breached cities, the battles were raging outside, 
but it seemed that the situation inside the city had not been greatly affected. Although there are very few monks in any city, ordinary people are not unusual except for their uneasy expressions on their faces, and there are very few people who are even injured. Although the surrounding houses can't see the blessing of any defensive formation, they are surprisingly complete. This big U is really ambitious, but this is also good, it saves a lot of things. Su Han smiled calmly, and the order in his heart dissipated. Instead, Su Han condensed a talisman, and after muttering a few words in a low voice, the talisman flew towards a certain direction quickly. When it flew below Tai Yi Holy Land, it split into two and galloped towards two different places. Elder Su. After finishing all this, a familiar voice sounded. Why are you here? Su Han made a cup of tea and put it on the other side of the table. Elder Su, I'm still a little worried about Baguio Villa. That's why I came to bother Elder Su. Seeing Lu Muyan's sad face, Su Dian didn't care. Under the inspection of Tianyan, Lu Muyan's recent encounter column is empty. This also means that nothing happened recently. Oh? Then what are your plans? In fact, as a disciple of Taiyi Holy Land, she doesn't have to worry about her safety at all. Although Lu Muyan was a disciple of Baguio Villa before, but now she has nothing to do with Baguio Villa. From an objective point of view, Lu Muyan has absolutely no need to worry about Baguio Villa. I. I want to hurry up and practice to become stronger. Having said that, Mu Yan's gaze became firm. Since you already have a goal, it's good to do it. As for other things, don't have to think about it. Everyone's motivation is different, and the purpose of cultivating immortals is also different. For example, Yi Wusho who I met before, the reason why he worked so hard to cultivate was purely for revenge. Simply speaking, revenge was his motivation. He can continue to become stronger for revenge, and can defeat nightmares and demons because of revenge. It is a fact that ordinary people can only become stronger after they have a goal, but how many people are truly determined on this long road of cultivating immortals? Having your own goals is enough. Thank you Elder Su for your guidance, Mu Yan understands. Lu Muyan gave a slight salute to Su Han with a suddenly realized expression. At the moment she saluted, Su Mei found that her luck seemed to have become stronger. However, Su Han was not surprised at all, although for ordinary people, such a simple truth is easy to understand. But for those who have been cultivating immortals for so long, some changes in their state of mind are bound to occur. For example, if you used to go 10 miles away to pick up something, you might need to get up early, and then walk for a long time to get it back. But after cultivating immortals, almost no one would waste so much time walking over to get things. After all, immortal cultivators can travel thousands of miles with a single thought, and a place 10 miles away can be reached with one breath. It is obviously a waste of time for them to walk for so long. It is also because of this that when cultivators become immortals admired by ordinary people, while their strength increases, they will also lose a lot of things. These things seemed nothing at the time, but after reaching the bottleneck period of cultivation, perhaps such simple things are needed. Of course, Su Han doesn't need to worry about these things that ordinary people are easy to lose. You must know that Su Han was a human being in two lifetimes, and in the previous life he was an ordinary person, so of course he had to do everything by himself, this principle has long been engraved in his bones. After the person left, Su Han sorted out all the things he got from the investment. After the number of investors increased, the low-level things rewarded by some yellow luck invested in the past were basically useless to him now. Even taking these things out is like a drop of water falling into the ocean. Even those earth-level and sky-level weapons can't be used now. One is because the current strength of Su Han's immortal ascension boundary cannot exert its full strength with weapons of heaven and earth-level. The second is because the current immortal ascension boundary's strength above the pinnacle of swordsmanship can completely use its own aura to condense a perfect weapon. Although there is no grade for such weapons, there is no doubt that this weapon is the most suitable. After Su Han sorted out all the resources, he absorbed all the valuable things, and settled for a few more days. Early in the morning, Su Han found something strange. The mountain, which has always been very quiet, seems to have become a lot noisier today. A burst of voices of discussion came from all directions, and Su Shang got up and walked out of the room. Elder Su. The disciples of Taiyi Holy Land gathered in this Luoxia peak. Su Han suddenly sensed something was wrong, and his spiritual sense instantly detected it. Sure enough, a powerful breath rushed over directly. Where is the Holy Lord? Before they spoke, Su Tong asked the props directly. The Lord is talking to that man. The Holy Lord told us to come to you, Elder Su. The old holy master told us to let you stay here at Luoxia Peak and not go out. All the disciples usually look calm and breezy, but at the moment they are all a little nervous. 
After all, there is such a huge gap in strength in front of you, and the oppressive feeling of several big realms is not something ordinary people can bear. But as for what they said, Su Han ignored it. In this savage realm, my own strength has already reached the level of fugue, so I ask, who else is my opponent? With a thought, Su Han disappeared in place, and the next time he appeared, it was already at the gate of the mountain top of Tai Yi Holy Land. As soon as I got here, I overheard Hunted Road talking to a very young looking woman. There is only one person who comes, and this one is enough. From her body, Su Han felt a powerful aura, this aura can only be possessed by the immortal ascension boundary above the altar. In this holy land of Tai Yi, whose top strength is rumored to be only at the divine realm, a strong man at the immortal ascension boundary came, and if he thought about it, it would be enough to destroy the entire holy land. Give this old man a face, Tai Yi holy land will not participate in conflicts between empires. There was a hint of a smile on the face of Hunting Dao. Although there was a big gap in the realm, he was still calm and unhurried, without any panic. The holy land of Tai Yi is attached to the Dagon Empire, so it is naturally within the Dagon Empire. Since Dayu wants to reshuffle the cards, it is natural to check. I hope Tai Yi holy land will cooperate. Although the tone of the blonde woman was very flat, but the huge coercion of the immortal ascension boundary exuded from her body made everyone a little breathless. Hunting Dao could barely hold on under this coercion, but the elders behind him who only had shattering void realm didn't feel so well, their faces flushed red, the degree of threat was self-evident. Seeing this, Su Han radiated his aura, and everyone's expressions eased a bit. Hunting Dao was still resisting this powerful aura just now, when he suddenly felt a gentle aura coming from behind him. Under this breath, it seems that his own aura has become continuous, and his realm has loosened a bit. However, the face of Shoshidao changed inexplicably, and he secretly thought that it was not good. Obviously I told him not to come, why did he still come? The blonde woman frowned slightly, and raised her eyes to glance at the elders behind her. Just now, even at the immortal ascension boundary, he felt a trace of threat. This force is extremely powerful, and it may have reached the level of Li Huang that can rival the immortal ascension boundary. And this force is still emitting a steady stream of majestic spiritual power. The most important thing is that this aura seems to have suddenly appeared here and completely enveloped this place. Even at the immortal ascension boundary, she couldn't detect the source of this thing at this moment. But apart from the fact that the Holy Master is at the Divine Realm, the other elders are only at the Broken Realm. It is absolutely impossible for these people to exude such an aura. Since it is not the aura emanating from these people, there is only one possibility. Magic weapon or array. How can a magic weapon or formation with such powerful power be ordinary? It's probably the thing that the Kerry clan guards. Sure enough. All the previous speculations were correct. The blonde woman's eyes suddenly brightened, and an undetectable smile appeared on the corner of her mouth. It seems that there are still treasures in this Tai Yi holy land. I really want to see how good this wild land can be. After the blonde woman felt this aura, the idea in her heart seemed to be implemented. Where is the baby? If Senior doesn't want to give this old man a little favor, I'm afraid the Tai Yi holy kingdom will also come to ask about the situation. Hunting Dao directly moved Tai Yi holy kingdom out, with a hint of threat. Although Hunting Dao didn't know what was going on, he found that all the changes brought about just now came after Su Han came. All of this has an inevitable relationship with Su Han. Although I don't know why, Su Han has the protection of his own family of hunters in his hands. Hunting Dao has already made up his mind at this moment, even if he fights to the death, he must keep Su Ying. The blonde woman didn't speak, and the terrifying aura swept over the group of people in front of her again, which also caused the sect protection array in Tai Yi Holy Land to be forcibly opened. A huge eggshell-like defensive formation instantly activated, covering the surroundings of the Tai Yi Holy Land, looking extremely solid. But in just one breath, the seemingly incomparably solid was smashed to pieces by a coercion of arrogance. In the Holy Land, the people who were a little relieved just now because of the opening of the sect protection array became nervous again. But the elders behind hunting Dao didn't show any panic. Because at this time, they are surrounded by an extremely powerful and majestic spiritual power. It's like everyone is wearing an armor that can resist the attack of the immortal ascension boundary powerhouse. Interesting. The blonde woman's complexion changed slightly, and a murderous intent flashed in her eyes. Holy Lord, isn't it? If I kill you, I can enter this holy place, right? When the blonde woman said this, she was extremely calm, but everyone couldn't help but be taken aback when they heard it. The old holy master is a strong man in the divine realm. Although I don't know what level it is, but this level is directly said to be the strongest in the Dagon Empire, there is no doubt about it. With such a peerless powerhouse, 
This young woman in front of her seems to think that killing such a person is just a matter of convenience? Several elders were slightly taken aback. Although they couldn't see through the real strength of the woman in front of them due to the difference in realm, they could truly feel that this person's aura would definitely not be weaker than the old holy master. What is above the Shenyuan realm? They don't know. Holy Lord, don't you want to do it yourself for such a clown? A voice slowly sounded in the crowd of elders, and everyone's eyes were focused on it. After seeing that the person who spoke was Su Han, their faces were extremely shocked. A person who is stronger than the aura of the Holy Lord is actually a clown in his eyes. But the strength he showed in front of everyone was only Taishu consummation. Taishu, Paksu, Broken, and Shenyuan are four big realms away. When they first heard the voice, there was a flash of joy in everyone's eyes, but then there was incomparable regret in everyone's eyes. In the past, Su Han had just come to the Taiyi Holy Land, from an apprentice to a formal disciple, and then to Elder Su in the back. Most of the elders here have also received Su Han's help, and their feelings for Su Han have long been extraordinary. Even if they are also elders, in their eyes, Su Han is already a level higher than them, and everyone's worship is sincere. After all, who can make the audience, whether they are disciples or elders, break through again and again with just one lecture? There is only one such person, that is Su Han. But now in this situation, Su Han has not even reached the shattered realm, and is directly facing a strong man above the divine wall. Su Han, a person who has not reached the shattered realm, is directly facing a peerless powerhouse above Shen Yuan. In the eyes of others, this is definitely asking for death, and there is absolutely no chance of life. At this moment, everyone is regretting, as if Su Han's defeat has become a fact. What are you doing here? Go back. The future Taiyi Holy Land depends on you. Don't be impulsive. Hunting Dao has always been calm and sees through the world of mortals, but now there is a ripple in his eyes. Even when he faced the strong man of the immortal ascension boundary just now, he didn't have a trace of panic, but now seeing Su Han walking forward, he couldn't help but get nervous. Holy Lord, leave it to me. Su Han lightly patted the shoulder of Shoshidao, this picture was a hundred incongruities in the eyes of the elders next to him. But everyone has some expectations in their hearts, and they don't know what to expect. I just prayed in my heart for a miracle to happen, and prayed that Su Han could win this match. Ants that can't be broken dare to shout in front of me? The blonde woman smiled contemptuously, her eyes full of sarcasm. Indeed, for a powerhouse in the immortal ascension boundary, Yingshu is rubbish and an ant. The male protagonist's eyes slowly fell on the blonde woman, and the sky eyes were activated instantly. Name. Gong Yue, air luck, thick gold, with a trace of black in the gold. Cultivation. Immortal Travel Eighth Realm Age, 27594. Life Evaluation. The December envoy of the Temple of the Moon God was obsessed with seizing man made creatures, and finally made good fortune to deceive people, and encountered great help on the way of experience. Recent Encounter. Asterisk 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 Su Han's gaze was fixed on the column of his recent encounters. This is the first time he has seen a recent encounter that cannot be viewed. Even the recent encounters of Hunting Dao before were all at nothing. But this palace moon is directly blurred and invisible. Even the system has no way to check this person's recent encounters. In his opinion, there is only one possibility for this situation. The cause and effect of this person's contamination is too great, too much. Don't be contaminated at will. However, Su Han didn't care about these things, but felt a little regretful that this thick golden luck tended towards purple infinitely. If you invest, maybe the reward can make your realm loose a bit. However, seeing the killing intent on the face of the man in front of him, Su Han dismissed this idea. So what if the luck level is higher? Not to mention that you can't see this column of recent encounters, even if you can see it, if she beats her back after helping her, wouldn't it be fatal? Gong Yue, traveling to the Eighth Realm. Su Han said something indifferently, the blonde woman was obviously slightly taken aback, and looked at Su Han with some surprise. The feeling just now spread throughout the body again. For some reason, the person in front of her always gave her a strange feeling, just when the eyes of the person in front of her fell on Gong Yu, he felt the coldness of death. Goosebumps flashed all over her body. You must know that people who have reached her current state, as long as they don't take the initiative to experience ordinary sensory experiences, their bodies will not have any feedback at all. Her mind froze instantly, and all her consciousness gathered on Su Ting's body. However, what she saw was still the cultivation base of Shattering Void. The elders beside him, including Sho Zan Dao, were stunned for a moment. Immortal Ascension Boundary, this is a realm they have never heard of, but there is no doubt about it. It's not that this level doesn't exist, but because their strength is too weak and they don't have the qualifications to reach this level. 
Old holy master, leave this person to me, you guys go back. Su Han turned his head indifferently, as if he didn't pay much attention to the person in front of him. Shoshidao was still a little worried, but he nodded when he remembered what Su Han said just now. You must know the strength of the person in front of you, even if you don't understand it yourself, you can only know that this is the immortal ascension boundary. But Su Han can accurately see her realm, which is enough to show his extraordinariness. What's more, Su Han has never been a big talker, and he was surprised by what he said behind the stone gate for a long time. Maybe Su Han really has his solution. Everyone withdraws to the Holy Land. As the voice of Hunting Dao fell, the elders retreated with some worry. The aura of Hunting Dao was all locked on Su Han's body. But the next moment, the auras of the two disappeared out of thin air, without any sign of disappearing. When they checked again, there was no trace of breath. If the memories just now were not deeply imprinted in their minds, they would even feel that nothing happened here. In just one breath, the blonde woman discovered that the place she was in had undergone a huge change. He was still in front of the mountain gate of Taiyi Holy Land just now, but at this moment he was already in a white space without any color in the whole space. The first impression this space gave her was, big, big and boundless. Apart from the lack of color, this space is no different from other places. Is this space magic? Gong Yu looked at the person in front of her in surprise, only to find that Su Chao, who was still in the Taishu realm just now, suddenly opened her breath. Even if Gong Yu used all her strength to resist the coercion that emanated, she could barely hold on. You are also an immortal ascension boundary. Impossible. How could there be such a strong man in this barren realm? There are people beyond people, and there is a sky beyond the sky. Su Han wasn't in a hurry, the person in front of him was about the same level as himself. Under the same realm, Su Han didn't panic at all, this is the confidence of a solid foundation. Coupled with the blessings of various bloodlines invested in him, why be afraid? Where the hell are you from? Why hide in this Taiyi holy land? Could it be the heavenly collapse domain? He is from Qingyu Yu, with his strength enough to serve as one of the twelve moon envoys in Qingyu Yu's moon god temple. There are only a handful of people in Qingyu Yu who have reached this level of strength, and he knows all of them. And the person in front of him is obviously not among them. There is only one possibility. The person in front of you is from a higher realm. As for the idea of relying on the magic weapon array to maintain the spiritual energy just now, it has long since dissipated in his mind. Originally, I wanted to inquire about the situation in Qing Yu Yu, but now it seems that there is nothing to inquire about at all. Looking at her like this, she should be shocked after seeing her own strength. A person with such strength will serve as the envoy of December. Based on Su Han's simple guess, the peak of Qing Yu's strength is estimated to reach the Supreme Earth, or even the Supreme Heaven. These are still far away from me, the most important thing right now is to improve my strength. Only absolute strength can surpass everything, and he is still too weak now. As Su Han's eyes moved slightly, a terrifying aura instantly pervaded Gong Yu's whole body, and the snow white area around her gradually turned scarlet. There seemed to be an invisible big hand covering her around. By the time she realized it, Gong Yu's body had already been filled with red blood streaks. These red blood threads seemed to be able to absorb spiritual power. Gong Yu suddenly felt bad, and wanted to break free, but found that she couldn't move at all. This is Su Han's domain. Now he only has one domain in hell, but his level of mastery has already reached its peak. As the strength rises, the control of the hell domain becomes more convenient and proficient. All it takes is one look, and the person being treated will immediately feel the terrifying aura of hell. The whole body will be shrouded in terrifying bloodshot, this bloodshot not only looks scary, but also the power of brought by it is extremely powerful. Not only will it slowly absorb its power for its own use, but what is even more frightening is that the person covered by the bloodshot will be paralyzed and unable to move. After being spread by the bloodshot for a certain period of time, you will suffer from the pain of 10,000 poisons attacking your heart. This is the scariest place. As long as the difference in realms does not exceed a large realm, it is mandatory. Dodge is not allowed. Ah. As time passed, Gong Yu felt the severe pain and screamed out. This was the first time Su Han used this technique, and its power was beyond his expectation. What exactly do you want from the Moon God Temple? Following Su Han's thought, a rattan chair appeared behind him. He lay down directly, and said lazily, I'm just looking for something guarded by the hunting clan, I really don't know. Gong Yu's whole body was as if there were thousands of ants eating flesh and blood, but there was not a single wound on her body. In the face of such a powerful force, she was in despair. She didn't know why, she just came to the wild land to search for powerful bloodlines and powerful guardians. 
According to previous investigations, there were very few gods in the realm of the gods, but suddenly a strong man with such a powerful power appeared. Gong Yu can feel that as long as the person in front of her thinks about it, he will die in the next second. At this moment, she was completely convinced. You just want to take away the guardian of the Kerry clan? Do you know what the Kerry clan guards? Seeing her in such pain, the male lead spoke slowly. I don't know, not even the moon god temple, no one knows. But it is definitely extremely powerful to be able to let the people of that family protect it for generations. The temple of the moon god needs this power to tide over the difficulties. The severe pain made him a little incoherent. Although I don't know why the person in front of me knows the guardianship of the hunting clan, why he knows that he is looking for this thing. But at this moment, he had no choice but to say everything he knew. Seeing this situation, the male protagonist raised his hand, the terrifying breath of hell disappeared, and Gong Yue panted heavily one after another. Su Han hurriedly looked away, and asked again. What's your plan at Dayu? Under the huge gap in strength, Gong Yu was completely convinced at the moment. The gaze of the person in front of him has also changed. Originally thought that there was only a monk in the Taishu realm in front of him, but after sensing the real strength. In his eyes, Su Han has directly changed from an ant that can be easily crushed to an unattainable mountain. Of course, all of this comes from Su Han's temperament and murderous aura. As for his cultivation, at the moment, she just vaguely feels that this is a very strong person. He is so strong that he is not qualified to appear in front of him. After all, even if she becomes a saint in one step and becomes a supreme person, she still has a certain amount of capital to survive a few tricks. But the person in front of him is not just at that level at all. The person in front of her gave her the feeling of solid cultivation, fierce sword energy, powerful blood power, and majestic spiritual energy, bottomless terror. All of them are integrated into one, even the master of the most powerful moon god temple he has come into contact with is beyond the reach. Under such pressure, her fighting spirit has long been exhausted. The person in power over there is a broken realm. But it does not appear to be intended to conquer Dagon entirely by force. Unless there is someone who wants to lose and resist, it will not hurt innocent people. At the beginning, Gong Yu didn't understand this decision, after all, crushing with absolute strength is the most enjoyable. But since it was her decision, Gong Yu didn't pay much attention to it. As expected, everything was as Su Han thought. You want the guardianship of the Kerry clan? You don't have to think about this, the thing they guard is too powerful, and it is definitely not something that ordinary people can touch. Even I can't help it. Su Han didn't exaggerate, those blood coffins were extremely terrifying, and the long river of time surrounded by them was even more terrifying. At least according to his preliminary speculation, there is no possibility of opening it if the strength has not reached the supreme being of heaven. That is the law of the world, and it is the embodiment of the law. So this thing is really here. When Gong Yu heard it, a gleam of light flashed in her eyes for an instant, but then it dimmed again. With someone like this guarding here, how could he be able to calm himself down? What about the guardian and its power? It's too late. Senior, can you take me to have a look? I wondered what it was that I had been chasing for hundreds of years. Gong Yu's eyes were dim, and she said helplessly. In her opinion, her life is already in the hands of the person in front of her. Su Han didn't care, and nodded in agreement. This thing was entrusted by hunting Dao to protect itself, and no one should be allowed to enter. But for some reason, it seems that there is a voice in the dark leading Su Han, asking him to take Gong Yu there. In the blink of an eye, the two terrifying auras were instantly covered, and the two reappeared at the entrance of the forbidden area of Taiyi Holy Land. This is it. Su Han opened the gate of the forbidden area, and a majestic wave of air blew in. At the same time, Su Han noticed that the luck above Gong Yu's head had turned black. Is this what the Kerry clan guards? Gong Yu looked at the things in front of her, her eyes moved slightly, before Su Han could stop her, she jumped over. This Gong Yue is a real tiger. Su Han was a little strange at first, but in an instant, he understood. This Gong Yu's strength has reached the Shenyuan realm, how could it not be possible to detect the endless deterrent power of this long river? Why are there things that the system sky eyes can't see? Probably because of this. Gong Yue is destined to be injected into the long river of time, even if she is let go, it will not have much effect. Our Gong Yue became greedy at the last moment, still wanting to be protected by the hunting clan. Or maybe there is a voice like Su Han guiding him. All of this has its own destiny in the dark, and anyone's intervention is dictated by fate. Su Han felt relieved, it was almost impossible for him now to take away the things in this space, so he walked out of the forbidden area without too much nostalgia. As soon as he stepped out of the forbidden area, a familiar aura appeared in front of his eyes. 
Brother Sue, are you okay? I felt the forbidden area was opened, could it be that she entered? Sho Shidao looked at Su Han nervously, and at the same time sized him up. He was relieved when he found that there were no injuries. As soon as Su Han came out, he saw Sho Shengdao waiting outside, and he was also a little relieved. Because the first thing he did when he saw himself coming out was not the situation of the small wooden boat, but his own safety. You must know that it is something that their hunting clan has guarded for tens of thousands of years. And I'm just someone I've just known for a few years. Maybe a few years is a long time for an ordinary person, but ten years is just a moment for a cultivator. There are hundreds or even thousands of decades in the life of a cultivator. This also touched him a little, and he made up his mind. In the future, if there is anything that needs my help on the hunting road, I must do it myself. It did go in, but he's gone. Without a small wooden boat, even if others know the existence of this forbidden place, it will have no effect. It's like the person just now, delusional to use spiritual power to fly across the lake. As a result, it was devoured directly, and there was no residue left. Su Han replied indifferently, and at this moment, Xu Shidao was obviously stunned. The probing technique was activated again, and it was found that Su Han's body had only improved a little, and he had reached the cultivation base of the Shattering Void Realm, and he was also somewhat unable to see through it. You must know that the Moon God Envoy just now has reached the Immortal Ascension boundary. Even if he was in the Shenyuan Realm, he didn't dare to fight her head on, but now Su Han solved it. However, combined with what Su Han said, he quickly accepted this fact. After all, he can't see through the water in that forbidden area, he only knows that if he wants to touch the water with his cultivation base of God's realm, there is only one result. Death. Sure enough, he saw the right person. Su Han brought him too many surprises. Not only is he a genius in cultivation, but he also has an inspiring aura and a unique leadership spirit. It may be reasonable to take all the things out separately, but when everything is summed up, it will drag this matter to an unattainable height. It's good that you're fine. A gleam of joy flashed in Huntedeo's eyes, but it disappeared immediately. Is there anything else you're worried about? This slight change may be nothing in the eyes of ordinary people, but it is difficult to escape in the eyes of Su Han. The Twelfth Moon God Envoy is equivalent to an elder level figure in the Moon God Temple. It is said that everyone has a life card. Fate card? Su Han was also a little surprised, he had only read this thing in ancient books. The main function of the life card is to detect vitality, and a life card can only be bound to one person. Life is green, death is death. It is said that there will be a trace of powder of the bark of the world tree on each piece of life card. The cost is extremely expensive, and the wild area they are in is an extremely remote place, so it is difficult to find a piece of this thing in the entire area. But it's not surprising that Ching Yu Wai Yu, which is more advanced than this, has such a thing. The current situation, I am afraid that the people of the Moon God Temple already know about it. The Holy Master is afraid that someone will come to take revenge. Su Han saw through the thoughts of hunting Dao at once. My old man is not afraid of anything. It's just that there are still many children in the Holy Land whose strength has not yet grown up. It is really innocent to affect them. Sho Zhan Dao sighed, but soon cheered up again, with that calm look on his face. Whatever, the soldiers will come and cover the water and earth. If they come, there is always a way, and the Holy Nation will not let them take action casually. Hunting Dao is such a character, even if a catastrophe strikes him, he will not be too long. It is also because of this that he has very few troubles, and he will not have any nightmares. Su Han didn't care too much, so what if he came? If they really took action against Tai Yi Holy Land, he would naturally not stand idly by as the leader of Tai Yi Holy Land. The disciples in the Holy Land are still cultivating individually, and no one knows what happened just now. It was just a rumor that appeared in Tai Yi Holy Land. Elder Su directly singled out the peerless powerhouse in the Shenyuan realm, and he won a big victory. Even Su Han couldn't help laughing when he heard the news. I have to say that this rumor is too much against the sky. How can a cultivation base of Taishu realm beat a strong man of Shenyuan realm? If it wasn't for cultivating hard on your own, no, investing hard and improving your strength to the immortal ascension boundary, what's the use of coming out by yourself? In this world, strength should still be respected. Only when strength reaches a point where everyone is ashamed, everything will be self-defeating. At the same time, the Dachin Empire had been completely broken by Dayu, but there was no scene of the Miao surname being displaced after the war. All the places are still the same even after the war, and not much has changed. As for the great emperor and those courtiers, no one knows where they went, but people around the imperial city sometimes heard some voices of confession inexplicably coming from the palace after midnight. After a few more days, the Dagon Imperial Palace has been completely reorganized, 
and the power holders of Yinwei set their sights on the various sects. The first is Taiyi Holy Land. On the day Taiyi Holy Land was destroyed in Dagon, Deyu sent people to negotiate peace. Hunting Dao naturally didn't have much to say, these things were no longer important to him. The Taiyi Holy Land was not considered a power of the Dagon Empire from the very beginning, they belonged to the Taiyi Holy Land, they just used some land in the Dagon Empire to build sects. The envoy sent by Deyu was polite, and he took the initiative to admit that Taiyi Holy Land was the first sect in Deyu. And announced that Deyu would not interfere with anything in the Taiyi Holy Land, and that the status of the Holy Lord of the Taiyi Holy Land, the Lord of the Dead, was as famous as the Great Empress. Although the status of the Taiyi Holy Land was not much different from the present when the Dagon Empire still existed, all of this is because the strength of the Taiyi Holy Land is extremely powerful. The power of the Taiyi Holy Land cannot be controlled by a royal family, so naturally no one would want to interfere with it. But now, just after Deyu was established, the status of the Holy Land of Taiyi was directly referred to as the Empress of Deyu. This is a treatment that has never been done before, indirectly acknowledging that Taiyi Holy Land is equivalent to a country, and the gold content in it can be imagined. Shoshidao also found out that the female Emperor of Deyu was also extremely powerful, at least at the peak of shattering. With such strength, it is very easy to establish a top power. Seeing that Deyu's empress was so polite, he naturally treated each other with courtesy, as long as it was a request from Deyu's envoy, he agreed. However, the Deyu envoy did not make any excessive demands, it was nothing more than acknowledging the fact that Dagon had perished. All other sects also have special envoys to negotiate. But they all have one characteristic, the strength of the envoys who go to negotiate is always stronger than that of the strongest sect. Illusory Cloud Sect. What do you think? Zhao Chongha gathered all the disciples and held a meeting. Is this really what Elder Su said? It's absolutely true. After Zhao Chongha finished speaking, he took out a talisman and placed it in front of everyone. He has also been thinking about what to do for the Illusory Cloud Sect, and whether he should resist or not. Zhao Chongha also received this talisman some time ago, and it has Su Han's aura on it. It is indeed what Elder Su said, we can accept it. All the elders also detected Su Han's breath, and said. This is also the only chance to keep the sect. Several elders spoke after careful consideration for a long time. If it had been a while ago, they would have given up resistance and surrendered to Deyu's feet, they would definitely have chosen to die rather than surrender. But after seeing the biography brought by Su Han, everyone was relieved, and felt that since it was Elder Su's decision, all of this seemed understandable. Elder Su must have his own considerations. Yes, just do what Elder Su said. Where there is life, there is hope. It's impossible to let the illusory cloud sect disappear like this. We agree with Elder Sus' decision. For a while, all the disciples agreed to this decision, and soon the envoy sent by Deyu arrived at Wanyanzong. Zhao Chongha received the envoy who came to negotiate peace very politely, and the negotiation did not last long. What Zhao Chongha didn't expect was that Deyu didn't put any pressure on him, but just let Wanyanzong admit that Deyu had defeated Dagon. He even said that he could provide some cultivation resources, which was a big gap compared with the previous Dagon who exhausted all his efforts to obtain the resources of the illusory cloud sect. Most of the other sects also gave up resistance and directly chose to join the Deyu Empire. Fu Longchang also received Su Han's letter, and did not use force, but chose to surrender to Deyu. Fu Long City is still the top three cities in Deyu, and the overall configuration has not changed much, but the person in power has changed from Dagon to Deyu Empress. Of course, there were also individual sects who were unwilling to surrender, and directly raised their troops to fight against the envoys sent by Deyu. On the second day, there is no such sect in the world. So far, all the wars have come to an end. What is surprising is that the major cities do not seem to be in a situation where there is nothing left to do because of the war. But the economy is booming like never before, and there are more and more monks, and the speed of cultivation is much faster. In the Taiyi Holy Land, the disciples' enthusiasm for cultivation was soaring and there were hardly a few people who were still wandering around at a glance. At this time, in Luoxia Peak, a familiar figure was waiting in a cave at the door. After noon, the gate of the cave was finally opened. Holy Lord, why are you here? If you have anything to do with me, just come in. As soon as Su Han opened the door, he saw Shui Shao standing at the door. It seemed that he had been waiting here for a long time. Brother Su's cultivation speed is extremely fast, so you can't delay your cultivation because of me. Hunting Road kept his posture very low. One is because in his eyes, Su Han's potential is extremely high, and he can even surpass himself in a short time. The second is because people from the Moon God Temple came to find fault, 
Su Han relied on his own strength to save Tai Yi Holy Land from the dire straits. It is precisely because of this that Hunting Dao feels that the time has come, and there are some things that need to be told to the person in front of him. Brother Su, have you heard of the Holy Son of Tai Yi Holy Land? The one who has been retreating. I understand. Here, Su Han thought of the legend about the true and false saint son, but whether it is true or not, there is no way to study it. He has not seen the so called real son in such a long time here. As for the fake holy son in the legend, he has been practicing in seclusion all the time, so Su Han didn't bother to pay attention to it. Maybe this holy son will be a good luck, after all, it is the holy son. But who would believe that he suddenly broke into someone else's place where he was practicing to help him solve his problems? Yes, the old man has a request. Hunting Dao suddenly hesitated, as if he was worried about something. Has he encountered difficulties in cultivation? Su Han also became interested. It is indeed inconvenient for him to go to the Holy Sun, but if the Holy Sun has any difficulties, he can test his luck. The Holy Sun who can become the Holy Land of Taiyi might have golden or even purple luck. This is definitely not to be missed. You bring people here, I will do my best. Su Han directly agreed, but he didn't dare to guarantee it directly. After all, he had never met this person before, so he didn't know what the problem he encountered was. Meet Elder Su. After a breath of hunting death passed, a young man in a white robe walked over and saluted respectfully. The eyes of the sky opened instantly, and the information of the person in front of him was fully captured in Su Han's eyes. Name, of, Fang Yuan age, 598 years old, luck level, thick golden right. Strength. Tai Shu Peak, life evaluation. The holy son of Tai Yi Holy Land, the proud son of heaven, attracts everyone's attention, and encounters a great opportunity ten years later. Recent encounter. Encountered a bottleneck, stuck in the bottleneck for a hundred years, suffered a blow, and has the risk of going crazy. Su Han was a little surprised when he saw this introduction, and he could only say that he was worthy of being the holy son of Taiyi Holy Land. He was able to reach the peak of Taishu at just over 500 years old. Apart from Tianyue who has Tinluan Dharma aspect, he was the first to see this talent. Of course, I have to get rid of myself, he has something to do. This level of luck is comparable to that of the Shoshi Dao, as long as there are no major problems in the future, maybe the cultivation level will be higher than that of the Shoshi Dao, and although he has been stuck at the peak of Taishu for a hundred years, in fact, he is only one opportunity away from the realm of shattering void now.